I'm Lord Spew, and I host Dueling Drawing Requests every Sunday at 7 p.m. PST on twitch.tv slash lord underscore spew. Dueling Drawing Requests is a live competitive drawing show where I interview cool animators and illustrators while we draw suggestions from the chat against one another. If you'd like to come draw along with us, join our Discord, and at the end of the night, the guests and I will take a look at the drawings that you post in our draw along section and say some good, some nice stuff about them. Uh, this'll almost get me banned, but maybe not quite. I just won't make it any bigger. Thank you <laughs> so much. This is great. I will. <laughs> and here's an alternate version. There are five rounds, and each round works a little bit like this. You guys throw up your crazy requests in the chat. The mods pick their favorites. Try to keep it under three words. And everyone votes on them in a poll located above the chat box. Then we start the 15-minute round. Oh, but now I'm in the chat and I have nothing to do but watch it draw. Wrong! There are two ways that you can interact with us. Type exclamation point animation in the chat to see a list of animated cheer commands you can use to tell us that you like our pictures. You can also use channel points to do super disruptive sabotages to me. Uh, this is used to take away my home field advantage and sometimes they really suck. Jesus Christ. Okay, so somebody redeemed a sabotage. I have <gasps> to start over completely. So I'm what? deleting I'm deleting my drawing. Then you vote again to see who wins the round. But what if the guest wins the first three rounds? Do you end early? No! We draw all five because we're addicted to drawing and I'm lonely. At the end of the last round, we announce the winner. So, without further ado, Let's start the show! I am doing the beating. 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 Dueling drawing requests. All right, welcome, 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 everybody. We are in our dueling drawing requests, Little Fighters edition. So let me explain real quick the rules of this new version of dueling drawing requests. We uh, are each going to be drawing little warriors, little fighters. You guys are going to suggest one type of little fighter, and then we're both going to try to draw what that is. So if you suggest a bird wizard with his butt out, we're both going to do our versions of that, but not just that. We're going to try to animate it. We're going to make uh, them doing a little special move at each other on on the screen. Uh, so heck yeah! Uh, I I don't I shouldn't really need to introduce my guest. You guys know who this is, but uh, I'll do it anyway. Uh, I have with me today in the ring the creator of Adventure Time, Bravest Warriors, and the Midnight Gospel, as well as uh, the creator of several video games such as the Little Pink Best Buds and Cards of Darkness. He has inspired a new generation of cartoonists. Uh, his name is Pendleton Ward. How you doing, Pen? Hey, I'm good. Thanks, man. <laughs> uh, so uh, let's get some requests up in the chats of uh, uh, Little Warriors. Um, Little fighters, little fighters, uh, and uh, and uh, after you guys uh, suggest that, I mean, you heard the spiel in the intro. We're gonna draw them. Uh, can you tell me a, a little bit about your uh, start making cartoons, uh, Pen? I, I know that people know about Adventure Time, but uh, I'm, I'm sure there's. I'm, I'm sure you started somewhere. Start. Uh. <laughs> Uh, my mom's an artist. She's a really great painter. Oh, my dude. Um, that's funny. That's cool. Uh, so I was always going to <clears throat> gallery shows. She was taking the gallery shows in San Antonio, Texas. And uh, I don't know, pretty early, she like she introduced me to um, an animator named Gary Schwartz. And I was real little, and he was teaching at the CalArts summer school program, CISA. It was like a, it was like a animation 
summer program for high school kids. Anyway, I got introduced to like someone with some real animation knowledge when I was in high, in high school, and then I started to learn some things. That's how it started. Uh, yeah, I doing, I doing flip books. Flip books were the thing. <laughs> yeah, me too. My dad, my dad showed me uh, a flip book, and then I um, came across like Stick Death. Uh, mm -hmm. com, and uh, and I started drawing like in in like a pirated version of my flat of uh, Adobe like Macromedia Flash that my dad gave me. Uh, I I started drawing like stick figures fight fighting. What was the what was the first animation you did? Can you remember? <laughs> or flip book? You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm sure there were stick figures in it. I don't know. I remember uh, doing some claymation when I was little of. Uh... I think like I was inspired by uh, maybe like a Tiny Toons Adventures spoof of Ninja Turtles. I think I made my own spoof of Ninja Turtles with slugs. Uh, yeah. I remember doing like a Water World. I was, little. I was really into Water World. Water World, dude. Water World, world building wise, was so cool. Like, like I mean, I mean, it's basically a post-apocalyptic like pirate world almost like i yeah. i really love that movie and i i know that like it, it gets a bad rap sort of like people people say like oh we like it i don't like it but <laughs> i love i love it man yeah there's a guy who lives on the smoker's uh ship who's down in the well and he just he lives down there and he checks the oil <laughs> that's his checks job the water level. that's what he does all the time I like that guy me too. All right, guys. So the poll is up in the chat uh, right now. It's up against. It's it's in between Frog Mad Scientist, Trash Gremlin, Jellyfish with Legs, Buff Patrick Duffy, and Cyborg Axolotl. So those are some some interesting little warriors. <clears throat> uh, I know that for you, uh, a, a lot of. Um, a lot of animations that people know from you can be traced back to, uh, I mean, it's basically your, your, your Twiddle handle, uh, your Twiddle, your Twiddle handle, mm -hmm. uh, um, Bueno the Bear. That that was a, a character in, in CalArts that you animated a bunch, right? Uh, yeah, I think I came up with them at actually that summer wow. animation program. That, uh, I heard a story yeah. that uh, your your teachers were trying to get you to make other films, but you kept animating stuff with Bane of the Bear. Is that true? <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, I do remember that. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Think about college. Whatever. <laughs> well, I mean. You, I mean, you, you kept drawing, and and, and uh, Win of the Bear sort of turned into like a Finn the Jake sort of a little bit, or is, uh, or, or is it just it had like a similar vibe? How, how did uh how did that transition? A uh, similar vibe. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I have no answers. Uh, transition. Oh, at school, Nickelodeon came one time. And they were looking for shorts, for one minute long shorts. And that's when I pitched the first uh, Adventure Time pilot. Um, but they didn't go for it, for that one minute thing. Oh. That's, yeah, that's all. All right, so our, uh, our um, poll uh, is finished. Uh, so we're going to draw a trash gremlin, which that's going to be our fighter. Um, so I'm going to update our our stopwatch instead of, we, we normally did 15 minute rounds but i think for animation um it's going to be helpful if we do 20 minutes it still puts uh us under the gun a little bit but uh i think that'll be enough time are you i know i know that you've started this guy or are you cool with with uh starting oh, yeah. our That's first fine. round now do you uh did you prepare any any little uh Smack talks? Any smack talks? I only got one. Okay. I'll eat your horse. I'll eat your horse in your house. <laughs> oh That's one of I don't think I've ever heard of that one before. 
Uh, so um, there's going to be eight hits. I sing a hit song. You hit on my hot warrior because he's so cute. I unveil my character as a hitman. Uh, the realization suddenly hits you. Then I hit your hitbox. You hit the ground, and then you hit the road. Let's start our round one. Round one. Bing, bing. Fight. Uh, bing, bing, bing. All right, so trash gremlin. So wait, are we both drawing a trash gremlin? We're both drawing a tra different versions of a trash gremlin. Okay. Are we, are we having them like punch each other, animate into each other, anything weird? We are, okay. Uh, we started the timer, there we go. Uh, so I would say just look at the screen and if you wanna have your guy do an attack towards the other guy, I mean, it could be a show off move, it could be. Okay. I'm just trying to um, keep my guy simple. The right. That's what I'm trying. So Big funny. trash can. I was like, I don't want to draw that twice. So another thing is because we're doing uh, animated versions, I think that uh, I'm probably going to keep my guy um, black and white. Not for sure. Because coloring animation takes too long. Um, for the, the paint song for you. Let's see. Let's try this. So how do you approach a gremlin versus a goblin? What's what's the distinction to you? Oh. Damn. Well. I, don't, I guess I I guess I went more goblin. I mean that's okay. I I bet I'm having a hard time a little bit because to me the lines are a little blurred too. I'm curious. Yeah. What did, what do people think about that? Uh, in the chat, what's the difference in between a, a, a gremlin and a, and a and a goblin to you? You know what? I'm gonna make mine smaller. I think that's part of that. That's a little bit of a distinction so gremlins are for a, <laughs> what's coming up? in for a for a punch just so you know oh see me winding up right <laughs> that's my favorite thing to do in a fight i i cock my hand back and i'm like okay you see me i'm coming in for one <laughs> get get ready you see me get ready i'm gonna do the big one what they call the punch in the biz Uh, so in the chat, uh, we have some gremlins are evil, goblins are mischie mischievous, gremlin <laughs> is unknown or extraterrestrial, gremlins are neutral evil, goblins are chaotic evil, <laughs> gremlins are hairy. Hairy. I guess if we go by um, gremlins like the, the movie, I guess that's for sure... Uh, Okay, so we have our first uh, sabotage. Um, I gotta wear the panda head for the drawing. So let's try to let's try to have this panda head while I while I animate. That's it's a whole other a whole other thing. I've seen the panda head in the past. <laughs> yeah. uh, um, so what are you looking out of? The mouth or the eyes? Uh, I'm looking out of the uh, out of the mouth. Which which actually is the hardest thing about doing um, 
there's another sabotage where I have to drink while I draw for a minute. And drinking while I have the panda head on means I can't really see. Right. Which I might I might be giving some people some some naughty ideas right now. <laughs> I like how you like encourage them. Yeah. Talking about how how pain painful. Uh, yeah, I mean it's it's, it's 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 fun and it makes it challenging, um, especially for guests that aren't used to drawing requests. I mean, there's a lot of there's guests that come on and they're and they're nervous, you know. So. Right. Cool. I'm jealous. I wish I was wearing a panda head. I wish I could get a panda head over to your house so that we had the uh, equal ability to, uh, in the last round, do sabotages together. I, I was actually, I was legitimately kind of worried in this one because, uh, uh, sabotages are scarier when you have to animate it. Oh, yeah. So we are almost at the 15 minute mark. Oh, okay. Are we, are we stopping at 15? No, 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 no. We have 15 minutes after the 15 minute mark. Okay. okay. Uh, so that'll mean five, five minutes have gone by. Um, okay. I'm going to hit you on frame six. <laughs> Man, I, I wish I could tell I wish I could tell people what frame I was hitting them on in real life. So I I guess it, it's it, I guess what I'm kind of, sort of doing is like a sort of like a trash gun. Hey, Are you wait. You animating on twos? What's up? Are you animating on twos? Uh, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna change it up. It, it's a, it's okay, if, okay. If, if they don't exactly match. Okay. At the end of the day, I don't think we're gonna be able to get them to line up exactly because there's a little bit of a delay. So all I can try to hope for. If we if we sync the. The amount of frames and looped them at the same frame rate and just trial and error pressing play and watching the stream yeah yeah i, I mean it, it's also close. it's it's also like one character could do attacks more frequently than the other one if if they if they aren't synced so oh, right. uh i don't mind it either way i'm down to try never done this version of uh the stream before. This is this is kind of what I wanted to do. At uh, picture this. this oh yeah. Um, but I don't. It probably would have been a disaster. <laughs> Taking way too long to animate stuff while a comedian's performing. Yeah, I mean they they uh, sometimes they talk so fast and, and and go from bit to bit so fast. I would imagine that like just as you get your animation set up, they're switching subjects. That's hard, man. Animation takes forever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you've been you've been doing some like experimental kind of animation recently on your. Uh, on your on your Twitter, like 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 playing around with, like not even a character necessarily, just like crazy. Did you like get a new program and you were testing it out, just getting excited about animation again? Or listen, I've been learning Blender for a long time. That's fun learning 3D stuff. Uh, is that just, I don't know if that's what you're talking about, but <clears throat> well, I, I saw that. I saw your Mario, your uh, your snake snake Mario oh, yeah. guy. Oh yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I was taking a Unity tutorial and just trying to make a cube jump in Unity. Um, and then I, it, I made a jump, and then I was like, I just want to put some animations in, and then started working on a Mario. Uh, it's fun. I love Blender. Um, I also love taking Unity tutorials. <laughs> Yeah, so you seem like someone who likes, like you like, it's like you, you, you like teaching yourself. Are you one of those, one of those folks? Like it's uh, fun for you to, to learn something new and, and to find it on after, your own? Only after I learned Blender. I think that's when I learned how to have fun learning stuff and not worrying about uh, failing all the time. Um, Cause you just like, I, like my, I didn't learn, didn't do, didn't learn anything today when I was doing that Unity tutorial. But, you know, something sunk in. Uh, and then I'll try again tomorrow, and then maybe it gets a little bit better. And it's, it's like uh, developing a photograph. That's what it feels like. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, uh, new skills on my brain. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not... It feels itself. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I actually, I have a little bit of a... I've never been as technically minded, and so I, I have a, a little bit of a hard time learning new things. It's something that I think I need to work on in my in my later years like as i as i try to make some more time for it just to find some <laughs> find yeah i mean like the the joy in it not being not being scared of failing like trying to it's learn boring. something new you know it's, it makes me fall asleep i'm just falling asleep <laughs> listening to a teenager try to teach me how to make a, make a character walk in unity <laughs> and i'm like oh. and then you know, I click a couple of things, the whole file uh, won't compile anymore. I'm like, uh, dude, I, troubleshooting I... in 3D is so hard. Like, unless you have like a tutor or something. Like, if you mess up and you, it's like you don't know what to fix, it's like this alien thing. Because I started off in in 3D, and uh, that was the most frustrating thing about it. Because I was like, I straight up don't know what I did wrong, and nothing works, and I don't even know what to look up. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I just opened up uh, all ten tabs of the first ten results of my Google search because they're not none of them are saying what I need them to say. And I'm just slowly scanning, trying trying to glean, you know, anything that might lead me in the right direction before I turn to like IRC, mm -hmm. unit Unity. Oh <laughs> uh, snap! It's a like, slug. Try to find Unity forums to ask people questions. Or go on Twitch. Going on Twitch and find someone with a low viewer count who's studying Unity and asking them is, is pretty good. Uh... Twitch tutors. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people that are streaming that are that are usually down to help with, like, simple troubleshooting stuff. That's a, it's one of my favorite things about Twitch. It's a, it's a, it's a really good learning platform. Even though a lot of people use it to watch games and stuff, but so timer seven. We have seven minutes left. Yeah, we have seven minutes left. This is actually more. Th I think it's actually more than enough time for for. Okay, we got another sabotages. Headbang for thirty seconds. All right. <laughs> Headbanging hurts, man. <laughs> I have to set. I have to semi do it gently because I, I do need to keep drawing. So like I'm not doing, mm -hmm. you know my my normal choreographed headbang that I would do at my sick metal show. Wait, how long do you have to headbang? Thirty seconds. Mm-hmm. Well, it's a long time. I have a I have a two minute one too. <laughs> yeah, man. There. Uh, I gotta brainstorm some other. Um, Sabotages, because uh, I've been getting a lot of the same ones. <laughs> Alright, so I don't have an official counter. I think that it was about 30 seconds. So I'm going to have him do a... Uh, do a little landing. And uh, we're going to get 
By the way, I can't uh, see who's following because I have this panda head on. But uh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, it, during the uh, before the next round, I'll try to call you out here. There we go. All right, we're at the we're almost at the five minute mark. Do you feel like you're uh, you're gonna be set? I got something. We got a bell. Five minute warning. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you for role model. I'll add a little little shadow under my guy. So how many uh how many frames is yours looking? Dueling drive uh, request. Twenty two. Twenty four. Twenty four? Okay. I think I think I can uh I can make mine twenty four. Um four there's a uh, uh, paint sound for you. Four minutes. All right, so what I'll do is I'll have my guy go up into his standard position, <laughs> and maybe I'll do a, like a little bounce, like idling pose. To uh, get mine into it. Okay. Uh, what do you feel like your guy's name is? Are you are you getting a gut feeling? Oh. No, I'm not. I don't have anything. Let me know. Let me know if it comes to you, because okay. I like to. I like to know who I'm fighting. <laughs> <laughs> it's an honor thing right you know oh so i don't know if you saw but right before the stream i made this separate little animation that happens for whoever uh whoever loses and whoever wins their little guy gets blown up <laughs> whoa uh and the other one gets a little ribbon All right. Is this 24 frames? Wow. All right. Two minutes. Yeah, we have about two minutes. Let me know if you need to uh, extend yours or anything. <laughs> or if you want to have a space where he's not punching as like an idling pause oh. there we go And uh, just make sure I loop my playback. Uh, what are you animating in in again? Animate. Nice. Uh, <clears throat> do you have your playback your playback looped? I do.
Oh, whoops. Hmm. Maybe I moved my whole thing over. It's okay. Uh, if you want to just zoom in uh, to get your guy to fit um, fully on the screen, uh, you could probably. I'm just filling the gaps here. Zoom in a little seconds. bit. You're allowed to reposition after you finish drawing. So I'm gonna take off my panda head. I think I am done mine. Time is up, class. All right. Down. <clears throat> finish your last your last few lines here. And then uh, time is up. Okay. There we go. It's okay. We're still getting used to the uh, the format. Uh, so uh, in the meantime, let's get our poll. We, we have our poll up in the chat. Uh, poll round one. Uh, go vote, dude. All right, which little fighter, which little fighter wins this bout? Which uh, so so uh, it's Trash Gremlin. Which little fighter wins? <laughs> this is this is this is funny. This actually works pretty well. Yeah. Nice, dude. I love yours. I like yours. Oh, I like that how your little lid, the lid, <laughs> the lid floats up. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna pretend that it uh it disappears behind that fist. <laughs> it's a, it's an added impact to the punch, that little that little lid. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so we got uh oh. Some people like to redeem um erase five lines in between uh drawings um. <laughs> Uh, the the sabotages don't work when we're not drawing, my guys. If you want if you want a refund for your channel points, that's totally okay. Okay, so the other day, um, my chat took a vote, and um, and uh, I am supposed to at least one time during the duel call you um, my little pen. Uh, do I have permission? A what to call me my little pen? Yeah, to say like, that's hey, what's fine. up? What's up, my little pen? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> I yeah, I thought I thought it was important to 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 ask permission about it. So, to to, to give everyone some some backstory, um, we both worked on Midnight Gospel. I mean, Penn is the the creator of Midnight Gospel along with Duncan Trussell. Um, but uh, to be honest, I I was a storyboard artist on, on the show, and to be honest, it was one of the most rewarding things I've worked on. Uh, like as far as just everyone, uh was happy and and felt like they they had their ideas listened to um oh i won the first round of 55 Yay. points oh okay yo check this out we got uh explode <laughs> we got our, our explode uh, pen animation you win oh, cool <laughs> Whoa. you win <laughs> nice okay uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna go to my next doc uh so let's let's blank them and uh uh, I wanted to ask you, um, do you if, if you have any uh, like personal philosophies that you stick to, to for when you're running a show to keep everyone sort of feeling listened to and and happy. Uh, so on Flapjack, when I was a board artist, uh, Thurp Van Orman was the the creator of Flapjack, and I'd say I'd ask Thurp like, Hey Thurp, can I go to the animatic with y'all and like like watch the animatic? <laughs> and, and he was like of course friend this is a fun factory <laughs> that is something he would say right uh, oh man and i was like ah oh, that's cool and so that stuck with me and i mean and it, yeah if anyone wants to do anything and it's fun to talk about it yeah um we're all trying to make something cool together uh I try not to, I don't know, early days when I was on Adventure Time, like I learned all these lessons, you know, like I, I think I, I shoved my ideas onto stuff probably too much, which is like, that's probably what you just, you do when you don't know how to Please not, up your after yeah. a while, you stop caring as much about your own ideas and you're like, let's just have fun. Uh, 
That was one of the most interesting things, like, um, in, in the um, storyboard room that I was actually taken aback by when there were a few times when you had an idea and I said my idea and you were like, your idea is funny, go with your idea. And I, I'm really not used to show runners <laughs> doing that, you know, like, like being able to let someone else's voice kind of come through a little bit. I mean, I mean, you had... Evan Borgia do um, skateboard animation trick. I mean, you know that that's what he likes to do. And you were like, oh, what if we like make these zombies do skateboard tricks while they're chasing them? And I mean, that's that's like making a storyboard artist's dreams come true, low key. Like just like like letting them do what they love to do on a show, and it makes. I mean, you get great stuff out of them when you figure out how to do yeah. that. I think it was a good show to. To do that on too so it's like having anything anything can happen at any second <laughs> second so it was easy to let everyone do what they wanted to do most of the time uh and, and so flat flapjack was that the, the first show that you worked on yeah before that was uh the invention pilot and the bravest warriors pilot and then whoa wait. so so the the bravest warriors pilot came quickly after the adventure time so you were like sort of getting into those around the same time yeah the it was frederator the company that was making the shorts mm -hmm. at nickelodeon Please and, uh, so this is advice i usually give to people trying to break in um well my problem was like i procrastinated all the time and so uh to not procrastinate, I would like just try to throw myself into uh, the, the pot seat. Like, so I'd schedule a pitch, not knowing what my idea was yet to pitch, and then I would like have to come out with something in a couple of weeks. Dude, I I don't I don't know if we've ever talked about this, but we we approach pitching the exact same way. Like, I I I will make a pitch like um before I have an idea. <laughs> before I have an idea, that's so funny, man. I don't know why does that work. Why does that work? <laughs> well, because it's a couple of weeks. Someone's gonna be like, "Hey, where's that thing that you said you were in?" And I'm like, "Ah, yeah." And so it's fear. It's fear, fear-based motivation, which yeah. works for me. Penn and I are both just scared all the time, and that's why we make cartoons the way we do. Mm -hmm. Oh man, damn, that's funny. Um, I didn't know that we. <laughs> I didn't know we both did that. Uh yeah that's it's it's stressful but it's also i also know that like if i have time to play with something when you're developing something it's yeah. never gonna just feel completely done or right and that's the point it's not it's not done or right like it's not yeah. done or right until it's like being made or whatever like it's always incomplete yeah yep it's always you'll never be satisfied it'll always be be terrible in ways uh but also no one cares except yeah. you yeah. and uh um and so just try to make everything good in the moment and move on i don't know no, no i mean that's, I mean, that's good well, advice I, I, fantasize about, yeah. about, I fantasize about um doing the opposite just like you, developing like, something for like four years yeah, and keeping it to yeah, yourself like really trying to make it you know perfect because when you're doing the other thing that we're talking about um it gets it's exhausting you know it's exhausting your output trying to like make the best thing you can with with not a lot of time and one, it feels horrible after a while one thing that um i've seen when, when 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 people do do that and they spend multiple years working on a pitch what they end up with is this thing that they're completely inflexible on during the pitch they have this whole story and every single thing is tied together and they have like 10 years of backstory written and then the first thing in the pitch is the the executive is like uh are, are you willing to budge on the name or are you down to have like yeah. a, one of the characters be a girl and you're like no i've spent 20 years developing this and it's it is the way it is and um yeah i, I feel like well, how how important is hard. flexibility? <laughs> how important is flexibility to to you when you're like doing something like that? Or do you try to like keep a like you're like this is a, an evolving thing and I'm not tied down to anything? I mean, that's the only approach that can keep you sane. I think uh, is being open to everything all the time. 
I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, you you just said the answer. That I mean, yeah. you do know. <laughs> you're just you're just humble about being omniscient. So our our uh, our, our second round uh, has been it, uh, the 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 vote is finished. It's sumo pretzlers. So it's I like still, a pretzel I, sumo I still... wrestler. <laughs> Pretzel sumo wrestlers? Okay. Yeah, so are you able to start a new dock um, so that you don't get rid of your old animation? Uh, yeah, I'm just on a new layer. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Because um, at the end, uh, if, if it's possible, at some, at some point during the week, it'd be cool to get these as gifts or something, if you could send them. Cool. I just don't want you to erase the, the, the beautiful animations. Uh, sumo pretzlers. Did I spell this right? I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> pretzel pretzlers uh so we're not officially starting yet why don't we um uh i'm gonna i'm just gonna say uh smack talks you to you because you don't have one prepared but if you want to just say random stuff at me um that's okay too uh so um you're either a fighter or a lover and my character is a lover of fighting round two uh let's go round two let's get it all right do you have anything that you want to say in return? I, I, I accidentally started the rounds before <laughs> before oh. you could respond. Uh, you, you stink. Ah! Oh. <laughs> well, that doesn't feel good to hear. Yep. You asked me to when you were writing it. these, were you wor uh, wor worried about hurting my feelings? Um, for two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually the one I was like you stink was the first thing I thought of and I was like I gotta think of something creative because this I don't know what it and then I was like I'll eat your horse I'll eat your horse dude and that's as far as I got dude I'm trying to figure out you know what I I think what I'm gonna lean into is the uh, the front isn't isn't there like a, a front bow on the on the front of some sumo wrestler uniforms that sort of looks pretzely thinking about that mm -hmm. for this okay. get my frame in place now I have to figure out what kind of attack I mean because the, the I guess the normal idea is to have him like do a shove or something right but do I want do I want a uh, a shove here? A sabotage. I got a head bang for thirty seconds. There we go. Now I'm I'm gonna use this time to think. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna use the pretzel as a mask. All right, I got a drink and draw for I believe that's one minute while I while I uh, draw this. <clears throat> right. Oh, we got another drink and draw. Okay, so we have two minutes of drinking. I don't even know what this is gonna animate into yet. Hmm. Um, Maybe I'll do a push. Are you just doing it like a show off stomp kind of thing? That's what it, that's what it looks like. It's gonna turn it into, but like, <clears throat> I guess you could have like like stones or something come up like it's a earth. Quaker. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> the 
<laughs> so you just have some salt. You have some salt on his elbows. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. We've been working you. What? Oh, you have an idea. We've been working you. It's gross. Sorry, I'm so, drunk. I'm drunk, dude. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <but. laughs> I think I think there's two minutes. I'm sorry. I don't have my normal uh my normal timer helper with me today. Um, on the on the drinking. Uh, on the next, on the next sabotage, can I have one of the mods, um, time what I'm doing and, uh, and ring a bell when it's done? I appreciate that. Thank you. I should have asked that before the duel. All right. So I'm going to have a, I think I'm going to, it's ambitious. I might not finish it, but I'm going to have a two part attack. I think I was trying to figure out how to like make his attack pretzel themes you know what i mean and it's it's hard <laughs> so i'm gonna have him <clears throat> sort of come forward here You you have a you have a a, a a it's called an animation smear on the bubbies. Man, I think that's gonna be <laughs> that is gonna be effective. All right, so we are um, a little bit past the 15 minute mark here. This one, I, uh, I definitely had a, a little bit of a hesitation going into, like uh, trying to think. So I don't think I'm gonna finish early on this on this round. Sumo pretzlers. He's, are you, what are you animating in? Flash? Yeah, I'm animating in Animate, too. I'm using a not circular brush because I heard that from uh, uh, the Buteras. Oh. To, Dude. like, every now and then just drive, drawn with one of the other shapes. So, uh, for those of you that aren't in the know, that's uh, the Batman, Spider-Man creators, right? Yeah. Man, I was a huge fan of Batman. Did did you watch those like in the in the beginning? Did you were you a fan yeah. of those? Four. Yeah. Was, uh, <sighs> so good. I just crazy bonkers animation with very simple characters. So so good. I love it. Um, but they said animate with a square brush. You said? Uh, just for fun, switch it up. Yeah. yeah. It's like one of the other. Cause there's all those shapes. Um, All right, so I have a little bit of a of a cheeky idea, but I'm gonna see if I can do it. I don't know how to reset though. 
um, re how to reset the loop. That's the, the difficult part, I think. Oh, snap! It's a slugfest! All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of a lean forward here. We'll do a very quick in-between. In general, uh, con uh, compared to the last duels, this is a, a this is a quieter one. Animation takes a lot of concentration, <laughs> uh, unless it's cleanup. Do you have a modified plan for yours? What are you What are you thinking? Is it mainly a stomp and a, a shake? It's some kind of projectile with the the stomp. I don't quite know what it is yet, but some kind of magic energy. Dueling drawing no request. Idea. So that's the ten minute bell. All right, I need an in-between to get us from here to here. So I'm going to have him turn around. Pull on his butt belt. Eight minutes. Okay. Uh, eight minutes. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna have his little sumo belt disconnect. Maybe I won't have him looking yet. All right. Have him spend this time turning his little uh, his little head around. Turn around. And I'm gonna have. All right, have him turn around and he's naked, but he's looking over his shoulder. And then I have to figure out, maybe I can do like a smear frame that's just one frame to get him back into his original pose. Six minutes, huh? Alright. And 
and his little robe thing is pretzel shaped. It does a little hit. Get a little in-between frame in there. That's good. Let's get this kind of thing going on. All right, that's the five minute bell. Yeah, I'm not gonna that... say any words ever. <laughs> You're not gonna say any words it's ever too again. Hard. It's too hard. I'm like, it's okay. We'll talk. We'll talk in between. Hopefully, the the drawing itself is 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 interesting enough. <laughs> it's hard to talk in anime. Unless you're going like, okay, and then we add this over here. But if you both want to go, if you both want to say stuff like that, then we can. Okay, so I'm going to do this line. And I'm going to, all right, that's the ticket. Let's go. All right, so I'm going to re, I'm going to redo this pose. And again, if you're just uh, joining us here, uh, follow our Discord and draw along with some of our battles. Um, and if you post in our draw along section, uh, I'd like it. And I'm going to have this second pose be just uh a skewed version of i think the the first pose and i'm gonna need my last like two minutes to try to get him back in uh position here All right, I got a head bang for 30 seconds. <laughs> and do it while I'm resizing this stuff. really hard at um, uh, one of the Ramones <laughs> was in town when I went to I saw that oh shit playing um, well, this is a long time ago but I just remember my head hurting <laughs> so really head your neck hurt. your neck hurts afterwards it right it does brain, so, bad for so uh, that's the two minute warning yeah I uh I mean it hurts. <laughs> it, hurt, it hurts your neck. And uh, I used to be really, really good at it. I, I don't... I actually used to, like, practice doing it, like, different head movements to make my hair move in patterns when I was in, like, high school band. You know, like a high school band or something. But, um... Let's see, how do I get him back to this beginning pose? Sorry, I uh, I, I forgot to headbang for a little bit. <laughs> um, you, 
is. There we go. Well, that's the one minute warning. Are you gonna be, uh, you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm, uh, getting there. I'm actually really surprised that I finished doing what I wanted to do. <laughs> uh, let me do, I'm gonna do one more in between here. Alright, there we go. By the way, I, I know I can't read the chat because we're in the middle of a duel, but I, I really appreciate all you guys, all you new uh, people following and, and subbing. Thank you so much. And I'm glad that uh, you, you came by the stream today. 12 seconds. 12 seconds. All right. All right. Let's, uh, let's get it all, let's get it all framed up. And uh, let's get him. Let's get him looping. All right. So loop playback. I'm gonna move mine. Whoa, dude, that looks great. I'm gonna thank you. He does. It's a. It's a double. It's a double attack. Hit you with his little his pretzel underwear. So everybody, uh, vote now. Vote now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut around, get a few close-ups of our uh, of our warriors here. There we go. So uh, what when you break yours down a little bit? What's your what's your guy doing? He's stomping on a pretzel bag, which is shooting a little, uh, some pretzels. Shooting over. bits. It might get in my eye, blind me temporarily. That's right. There we go. And so we have a poll up in the chat. Who wins? Who wins this, uh, this duel in between these pretzel, these, uh, sumo, sumo pretzlers? Uh, so people always ask, uh, what's your, uh, our guests, uh, what's your, what's your favorite, um, snack to eat? Snack. Damn, nothing's coming to mind. You don't eat anything, dude? <laughs> I'm trying to think of what, like, what's a good snack. I'm gonna look. Are you like, I have to be careful who I give my endorsement to. You don't. You never know what these companies are up to. And the popcorn bag company could be dumping kernels in the in the Amazon River. Man, I'm looking around. I'm like, there's not a lot of snacks. <laughs> it sounds like you gotta change that, my dude. Well, are you a nut I mean, person? Do you like nuts? House, I'll eat those snacks so fast. I'm like, what even? I don't even know what that was. So it's sort of like a like you. It's like a blind grab. You, you reach in the cabinet, you you eat them. You don't look at them, and it's like a surprise bag for you. Yeah. Oh, you won! Bag. You won! Hey. Oh. All right, I get to te I get to do my little uh, explode. Close. I get to explode me now. You win! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it one more time because it's fun. <laughs> you win! All right. So we get to go, uh, let's, I'm going to clear my, I'm going to go onto another file here. And, uh, I'll tell you though, hmm? oh, I'll tell you, sorry, I'm going to bring it back to snacks. Uh, one thing I used to order a lot was, uh, Please throw up your drawing request. It was a chocolate mochi dumpling. Chocolate mochi dumplings. Yeah. I mean, I love mochi. I used to, my favorite was mango mango mochi uh mochi ice cream but chocolate chocolate uh mochi dumplings where uh did you have a, a go-to place was this uh here or was this uh texas no it's in la it's in la um i can't remember the name of it uh, i think it's dentai fun i think they got it 
Oh, uh, I I didn't ask you. Do you have a Do you have a hard out tonight? Like uh, when you have to leave? No. Okay. Um, I, I was trying to figure out. Like I know our, our rounds are a little bit longer. If you were still down to do the five rounds, or if you want to modify it to to be less, or or, or if you're just chilling. Oh. Uh, I'm chilling. Uh, yeah, whatever. We're in round two. Uh, we're gonna be going into round three after this. Uh, after this next round, they're they're doing um, uh, they're throwing up their requests in the chat. But uh, I, I'm I'm down to still do the um, the five rounds if 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 you are if you're having fun with it. Except there we go. <clears throat> uh, another thing I usually ask is if you're down to uh, stay like for 15 minutes at the end and, and at, let the chat ask a few questions. <clears throat> Carly, you don't like animate? What? Come on. Come on. Carly doesn't like animate. I didn't know that. Maybe maybe they're uh, more of a Toon Boom Harmony person. To, uh, I think they work on Solar Opposite, so it's probably Toon Boom Harmony over there. <clears throat> said, OMFG, I'm a Harmony person, you nerds. Guilty! Do we have a Do we have a poll in this chat yet? Are we still throwing the poll together? Hell yeah. Uh, oh, <clears throat> I wanted to ask you, do you have any uh, other podcasts that you like? I, um, I mean, uh, Midnight Gospel was created from a podcast that, I mean... You you were a fan of right you 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 had listened to Duncan yeah. Trussell's podcast beforehand yeah um yeah I listened to left right and center for my political news oh okay um I listened to the Andy Kendler Thought Spiral podcast um which is fun it's like for a real specific kind of person but it's really yeah. i like it a lot yeah I, I know that some people like like uh like they only listen to like history podcasts or they only listen to like political podcasts or like or comedy co podcasts you know like are you uh are you a fan of any uh comedy podcasts I like judge john hodgman i listen to oh yeah 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 uh, he's the on the maximum fun network i think right with the mcelroy brothers and and all those yeah Nice. I, uh, I I like a lot of um, like story podcasts, like this podcast where the sound sound design is really good, and it's almost like you're listening to a a movie. I listen to um, a, a decent amount of like horror, uh, like mystery podcasts um, that are like story driven, like um, Tannis or uh, the Black Tapes or the White Vault or. I mean, there's, there's, there's like, so there's like a whole lot of them. Well, recently, I've been listening to um, uh, stories with Sapphire, and it's um, ghost stories told by. Um, I mean, it's basically non-white people from non-white cultures that are uh, that have different ghost um, myths and, and and talking about uh, interactions that they've had. You know, like with. Uh, ghosts in Hawaii, oh, like, like Hawaiian ghosts. natives and stuff, and uh, I thought that's really interesting because most of the ghosts that you hear about are like from like Europe or like uh, America. Oh, so round three is a uh, baby, baby fight. So let me let me <laughs> let me uh, let me update this. Uh, and I wanted to ask, do you have any uh, podcasts that you've listened to that are like that, like story podcasts? I'm trying to think of ones that aren't the regular things. Like I, I listened to the Moth for a bit. Um, I guess I can't think of any story ones. Baby fight. Yeah, I mean they're they're not for everybody. I actually like I have a really hard time um, keeping up because I listen to them fa to fall asleep a lot, and so I'll listen to the same episode like five times because I'll have to like start it at different increments when I can remember. Um, uh, so why don't we go into this next round? Uh, this okay. is the, this next round is baby fight, um, and uh, l let me look at my uh, my schmack my schmack talks. Uh, 
um, are you where? Are you where's Waldo? Because I'm about to draw circles around you. <laughs> what you got? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna draw a good. Got it. Real bad. <laughs> you stink. You stinky. Oh, you going with the stink a, a second time? <laughs> second yeah. time around, double stink, double stink. Round three. All right, let's uh, let's start the round. We're um, babies. we're do we're doing a uh, baby three. fight. Have a lot of fun. Oh, I I, I did the uh, I did a a double a double round three, round three two times. Oh, are you doing this an extra small baby? <laughs> yeah, I'm tired of squishing all around the screen. Go small. That's a good, I mean, I think that's a, a probably a good a good strategy. So tired of this brush. Going back to circle. All right, butt alert. There are going to be baby butts in this chat. So, uh Pen needs his points. Oh, I gotta update the the score. Thank you for reminding me. He does need his point. It's one one. Thanks, mods. Thank you, uh, other. Thank you, other mods. I got it. I did it. So there's this one baby that I really like drawing. Um, I can't, I can't even describe, it's this baby that, uh, all of the videos of this baby are him yelling at the camera in, in, uh, in another language and, uh, and, and then eating so much food right afterwards. Uh, and I don't know what, I don't, it's like just this like viral baby that like scolds the camera. <laughs> Like, does a smack talk to the camera? The, t the timer's not timering. All right. Sorry about that. Thank oh. you. That's what happens. That's what happens. I get flustered about one thing, and then we don't start the timer. But... Oh, well. So this round, we have a few, we have a few extra minutes. All right, so I'm gonna do. I I I don't. I have no clue if we're allowed to to, to show uh, poop on Twitch, but I'm gonna show it. Um, too bad. <laughs> too bad. So sad. <laughs> My bad. So sad. All right. All right. So I'm gonna do a little bit of in. Antici anticipation move where it's it's sort of like he's saving up. Oh snap! It's a slugfest. There we go. Um, do you have anything, any like drawing <clears throat> shorthand you've you learned in high school that you still do without even thinking about, like? Like diaper pens, for instance. Like I've been drawing diaper pens this, like this. Oh yeah, that's like like how, I mean that's how like Rugrats drew it. Or how, how did you what, do you remember what know. that's from? No, I just know it's been it's just like it's in there, and I've never thought about trying to draw it better or <laughs> or or anything. I mean, why 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 change it if it's not broken? You know. Um, I do I have any drawing shorthands? I know that I've drawn mouths very similarly uh for for years like when an open when there's an open mouth on the and the character to the side it's just it's sort of become part of my style uh let me let me i gotta i gotta think about that i um like it's a that's a very specific like cartooning language thing and uh as much as I can, I actually do try to change. Like, it's one of the reasons why I use reference a lot. I do try to change how I how I draw things because I feel like if I draw like a knight, 
from imagination every time. I'm just going to draw it the same every time. And right. I and I don't necessarily want to do that, but it's um it's a it's a good question. I'm going to brainstorm on that. <clears throat> do you have anything else like that that you that you know that you uh, draw like the same the every time? Abs, the ticks abs. <laughs> I draw I draw muscles uh, the way Dragon Ball Z draws mus drew muscles every time yeah. almost. That's that's mine. Tick had these little thing, these little like side abs. What do you call those? I actually don't know what to call those. They're not. I mean, they're not love handles. They're like fight handles. Does anybody in the chat know what those are called? Those, those, the, that, those particular set of side muscles next to the abs, riblets. Uh, why are you impersonating a frog in my in my chat? Chonks. Someone said chonks. I don't think that's what the obliques is. That what they're called? That might be. That kind of sounds right. I'm I'm re I'm really gonna compress my my baby's butt. Oh, also, thank you, uh, Top Cat. Yo, I, I just I just caught that you um, cheered 100 bits. Thank you, dude. Yo, uh, LOL Cody Bond, thank you for the uh, the raid with the party of eight. Can we get a uh, a quick shout out to Cody Bond in the in in the chat? We're in the middle of a drawing duel with my with my friend Pendleton Ward, who uh, I worked with on, on on the Midnight Gospel. You might know him from Bravest Warriors Adventure Time, uh, or maybe you uh, just like his Instagram where he does uh, cool animations. I don't know. There we go. So our current rounds is uh, that we're drawing a, a baby fight. Um, so I'm going to have mine. I'm going to have mine poop a fist. Sounds like sounds like a winner. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I think I think your your little dude. <laughs> Your little dude is is uh, very small and small time sometimes cute sometimes wins man. Oh yeah, it really does. You, Pe people like the underdog, the small guy, you know. Have you watched much Salty Bit? No. It's like um, AI driven. Uh, it's like every fighting game character plus like uh, it, you can you can upload your own. Whoa. fighting game characters um and they fight forever and you can bet on them it's a twitch thing whoa i i really i've, I've never i've never seen that i have to what, what is it called again salty bit salty bit i'll uh i'll look it up uh when we're not in a time duel but yeah hell yeah that i mean that's i've been looking for more interactive streams that's one of the reasons why i'm so fascinated with tom's stream and i don't know you've you've been in tom's stream too uh, just like interactive streams that aren't, that don't feel the same as the rest. It, it, it's really feels like they're taking advantage of the uh, unique format of Twitch in an interesting way. Yeah, Tom, Tom when I saw Tom's stuff is real inspiring. I, I like couldn't fun. believe what I was seeing that it was I'm live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Tom Thinks. Uh, who he had on the program like i call my show the program like it's like some bbc mm -hmm. <laughs> like show um uh, we had on the program uh the other day like two uh saturdays ago that's cool i watched some of that oh. all right uh we are at the 12 we we do we do have a little bit of extra time on this one uh because i started Dueling it late 
uh, but we're at the 12, 12 and a half minutes. I know that's not a normal time that I would update you with, but uh, it is it is what it is. Let's see. What if I maybe I make maybe I make him smaller so the fist is bigger? I don't want to make it as small as yours because I feel like that's cheating. You have the uh, a monopoly on the on the small baby market in in this particular challenge, I think. But I'll make mine a little smaller. So the uh, the so the poop fist looks cooler. Sorry uh, if this if this uh, poop fist grosses anybody out, but uh, you know even though I'm drawing a baby, this stream isn't for babies. This is for people that have seen poop before in their lives and uh, and aren't afraid of shying away from the ugly stuff. Get real. Get real, okay? That's why I brought Pen on here, because he's he's a he's he keeps it real and he's a real animator, he's not afraid to animate some some duke some duke have you ever animated um some poop? Uh I did for Cartoon Network. I animated a bird pooping. I'm actually surprised that with that S P allowed that I I I remember I think I heard a story about on regular show they, there was a chocolate cake that looked too much like poop, and it was just chocolate cake, but someone fell in it, and they said it looked like poop, so... Yep. Um, uh, so I'm... Color me impressed. It was just a little bird poop, so I think it wasn't pushing the... Lens. Oh, and it, it probably wasn't brown, right? Uh, See, that, no, that's the black loop, and white. Yeah. That's, the, that's the loophole. Non-human poop... Actually, I don't think you can have a dog peeing on a fire hydrant either, with SMP, right? What's the what's the weirdest SMP note that like uh, regular sh uh, sorry that uh, <clears throat> Adventure Time ever ever got? Would you say? I don't. I can't think of it. I can't think of anything. You, uh, that's what happens when you battle someone who is as as Zen and uh, and present. As as Pendleton, he's thinking about right now. He's not th he's not burdened by the past. That's why he meditates. You meditate, right? <laughs> um, when I'm walking, does that count? Uh, be careful crossing streets, Pen. That's my <laughs> advice. If you if you're meditating, just be careful when you're walking. Will do. This is my show. Uh, this is my show. Um, giving advice to Pendleton Ward. Uh... Program. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna have a big old, a big old poopy hit. I'm gonna have like a little bit of splash. What's going on with that baby head, Lord Spew? Uh, the that the baby head is where all the poopy is stored, so it's caving in when the fist hits. Thank you for asking about it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. So I think that my what I have to do here is if I think that it's not it's gonna look bad if the poop goes back in the baby's butt and that's not my intention so i think the poop needs to fully come out of the baby's butt i think that that's the way to handle this in the um yeah. most i don't know that that strikes me as something that an smp would give notes on listen he can poop but it can't, the poop can't get sucked back up into that that butt <laughs> okay Okay. <laughs> okay. You got it. You got it, bud. So, uh, what, what's uh, what's your, what's your, what's your baby up to? What kind of attack? Is it a? Do you have a name for the attack? It's not. What? what? It's not, that's not specific enough. Nah, I keep. No, I kind of just copy you <laughs> as, as I'm animating. You're talking about poop and butts. The butt got bigger. Okay. 
just like, ah, I guess I should make him poop all over the place. Using the chameleon uh, technique. Um, well, I I would say that um, let's come up with names with our, for our attacks over the next uh, five minutes. I, I think that um, attacks like these need a need a name for them to really have that impact, right? So that's right. I won't I won't bother you for a second while you while you <laughs> animate and think. Okay, names. Hmm. Oh, my bad. I have to headbang. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm poor, but, uh, I'm paint some for you. Draw this poop fist shattering. Uh, this is gonna be my first drawing with any color. I'm just coloring the poop. Thank you for the bell. What's uh what's this what's this bell? What's this bell about? Thank you. I love how expressive each frame in your animation is, Lord Speed. Thank you so much, dude. Bell sabotage. Was there another sabotaged? I only saw the headbang one. Oh, the headbang is over. Thanks, dude. Yeah, sorry. I I, I missed a little bit of the headbang. Um, thank you. For, thank you for keeping track. I'm gonna remember that you guys are keeping track next time. I'm so used to trying to time it on my own. Thanks. Okay, so we're gonna have this baby. We're gonna have this baby start going back to normal here. And uh, I'll have him do a uh, a little bitty baby bounce. Five minutes will give me enough time to color my poop and and make my little baby bounce. Five minute mark, okay. All right, so I'm gonna have this poopy sort of fly off, disintegrate. Man, I've never, I've never uh, tried the um, the animate. The closest thing I got to animating in one of these is um when I did a, a little baby mouth pack for the um, Tom Thinks one. And uh, uh, it actually it actually kind of works. We, we can actually get like a short animation done. I'm actually kind of surprised. <laughs> I was I was uh, a little worried about this one. I was like, you know, what's going to be the uh, amount of time that we yeah, that yeah. we got. That's a good amount of time. So I think that um. I think that if my baby were able to talk, its first words would be to yell, um, get your dookie dukes up. And that, and then it would do its attack. I think that's my, my, uh, my baby attack name. Get your dookie dukes up. Yeah. <laughs> Which baby yells at me? Uh, that's what my, my baby yells at you because it, it, it uses a poop fist. Uh, and that's 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 my attack's name, I think. <laughs> that's cool. I'm gonna make this little double chin kind of come down. The thing about um, doing an animation one of these is um, I don't know how many people are super fast at animating on the spot. A lot of people do a lot of rough animation instead of straight ahead, but I had a feeling that you do a lot of straight ahead animation. Um, so I figured that it would be 
okay for 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 this duel. But I think it's gonna right, be one that is. I do rarely. Oh snap! It's a slugfest. Whoa! Yours is crazy animated. Are you done, yours? I'm done. I'm done. Yours is bouncing off the walls, dude. It's a, it's a baby bouncy attack. You uh? Whoa, dude. I mean, that I, I think that the it, it's a good. I hope that your baby isn't on a team because friendly fire is for sure uh, a possibility. Um, holy shit! <laughs> Yours is a goer. Put some poop on it, and I'm gonna do a little bounce <clears throat> upward. from the seated position. And I'll change where the uh, shadow is under the butt. We have uh, a little under a minute. Is any, um, or a little over a minute, I mean. Uh, so any any last minute changes you wanna do, uh, feel free. Thank you guys. And uh, let's just move our uh, little foot. And I'm going to move the little arm too. Uh, we have around 30 seconds, but I think that you're pretty much done. Doing a poop pass. He's doing a poop pass. We have 18 seconds. Just give you a little updates. So I think that your timer's a little behind. Oh, okay. Right. Because uh, you're looking at the chat. Right, right. Which is also why I'm lenient about um, you doing some finishing up lines. All right, guys. Time is up. I'm just finishing up this last little shadow as... And finishes up those poopies. Uh, but I think we're good. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do uh, the loop loop playback. And let me uh, let me just position my baby. All right. So let's uh. Just uh. Let's, uh, yeah, we're just keep them looping. I'm going to cut around our our drawings. Did, uh, what's your, what's your, uh, what, what's the name of your attack? If you thought of anything? Baby bouncy poopy attack. It's not, it doesn't hurt. There we go, dude. I mean, it doesn't hurt. it's threatening. Yeah. Yeah, it's sort of like keep away. Like you don't want to touch this. This smells. This is gr it's gross over here. Keep oh, away. Man. So everyone vote in the uh in the poll. The poll is up. Um I have uh my baby's doing a, a fist poop um attack and uh we're we're both, you know what? I it's sort of like we're both distance fighters. I mean, you just sort of bounce around and you hope, you know, no one don't come over here and then mine's sort of attacking from a distance a little bit of a ranged fighter here <laughs> dude you uh man you would have so many frames in yours <laughs> I, drawing small really helps maybe i have to draw smaller Mom, drawing small helps this time Well, yeah, I'm impressed with your baby's poop control. Thank you, dude. It seems like something they've worked really hard at. Uh, I mean, or they're a natural. Some people are born with natural talent. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted, I wanted to ask you, like, if you have a certain way that you approach 
stories or writing a story. I know that a lot of young animators have a really hard time starting stories. Oh, pen one! Pen one! Yes! Uh, I'm gonna blow up. I'm gonna blow up me. Once. You win! You win! But yeah, um, yeah, I, I was curious if you have a, a certain way that you approach, like, starting a story, figuring out what your story is about, sort of like approaching the, the meat of it, if you have just have, like, a way that you've developed over the years for these new peoples. Um, I'm trying to think about it. Uh... Or if it's not something you've had to talk about, so you just sort of do it, and, like, it's hard to de describe. It's not, it's not hard to explain. I'm trying to make sure that it's not as, sim as, as simple as I'm thinking about it. Because I just think about what feels right. You know, and what feels right is like based on all the crap I've seen, because all you're doing when you're writing stories is is copying stories that you've seen before, uh, or you're copying something like from your life. So you're figuring out how to make that entertaining. You know, it's <laughs> like what's one, one or the other. And you just keep asking yourself, like, does this feel right? It doesn't. Why not? It means something better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just trying to make it better. Is that, I don't know. That's too simple. Maybe I don't, I don't really know. No, no, no. I th I think that there's something about like writing, like it it it's writing an episode around like an a really honest, simple hook. Like, what do you want to see in this episode? What's your excuse for doing this episode? And it's it's not like a, a long backstory kind of convoluted thing. It's like on, honestly, I just want to have some characters. Uh, have a sword fight with burning logs in a forest, yeah. or you know, but um, it's almost like approaching something like a like a punchline of a joke, but it's just an honest idea. Is that sort of what you mean? Yeah. Or is it, or is it like a real life experience, like a life feeling that you have that you write it around? Yeah. It's whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, just dude! Do whatever you want, I dude. Think. Do whatever you want. That's how you start your story. <laughs> that's yeah. how you do it. And then when it stinks, like make it better. And that's yeah. that's how you start, really. Is like yeah. what, whatever first thing you put down stinks, and then you slowly carve away at it. And that's how you. That's any. That's any art form. I mean, that's a really simple way of putting. Like, basically, keep it what you want to make. Like, don't. It's not like making what you think other people want to see. You're like. A complex story it's like making well, what a story that makes you feel good when you make it like that sort of thing <clears throat> well it's you gotta balance it you gotta sure, balance all sure, of it sure um because like i'm always thinking about what other people want to see um i'm always compromising my my artistic vision because i'm trying to make something that someone's gonna like most of the time sure that makes sense i <laughs> mean that, you, uh, that's yeah it's probably something that uh is important that a lot of people don't think about they get caught too caught up in themselves yeah a balance that makes sense so that's a, a that's a crazy and complicated question to, to, to ask you but uh i don't know i i always like to get people's uh, takes on it i i asked um the the creator of mau mau parker um he I, I asked him like how he approaches a story and he basically has a like a breakdown of three things it's like what's your hook the the thing that you want to do in a really simple way and then there's like how do you get to see it and then then that's the plot and then um and then there's like figuring out what the motivation of the characters are that get them through the story like something like that i'm paraphrasing in a big way but <clears throat> um, yeah. it seems like everybody has sort of an individual way that they stick to when they when they make a story so i was curious about what yours was this is my pie chart whoa i didn't know i was gonna get a pie chart <laughs> in uh out of this this is sick it's, poetry it's my cliche pie and chart for commercial play. success whoa <laughs> dude everyone screenshot this <laughs> Uh, um, that's that's actually really smart the way you put that together. So our round four poll is clam fight, fragile dogs, <laughs> Fred and Barney, shark dance battle, and hummingbird riders. 
So uh, vote now, everybody. Uh, you've been um, getting into both 3D, but also VR, right? Yeah. What's your experience been with that so far? I, uh, uh, last time I talked to you about it, you were really excited about like painting and making stuff in VR. Uh, it's super fun. Uh, it's really fun with 3D. I did some sculpting in, in VR and animated the sculptures. Uh, it's fun. <laughs> would uh, would you ever be interested in um, like I, I I have some friends that have worked in like boarding VR shows. Would you ever? Is that something that interests you at all? Boarding in VR. Like like making a a show in VR that I mean it's sort of like you're there in the scene but you can look around and stuff. Uh, that, you know. I've never totally been sold on like 360 storytelling it's hard it doesn't, to, it doesn't mm. sound fun to me to figure that out um i because in vr it doesn't matter like in vr we're going to be watching flat screens in vr anyway we're going to be still be watching our normal tvs in the metaverse because it's the easiest way to chill out instead of turning around and looking at all the wherever the the character's going <laughs> yeah Con conceded uh it's live yep we're live right now um so uh it was hummingbird riders right was that was oh, that our cool. was that our um can i just get a quick confirmation it disappeared uh as a poll is it hummingbird riders yep whoa get ready to do another small bouncing around thing <laughs> yeah i was about to i was gonna, I'm gonna switch it up though. switch I'm it up. up i'm gonna get some reference that's what i do first yeah all right so hummingbird riders. Oh wow! The first picture of a hummingbird has a rider on it. They all have riders. Every hummingbird on Google Image. Oh wait. Oh, they all have riders. They all have riders. <laughs> I thought I didn't type it. Right. So There's much tons of to cheat off of. Riders. So much to cheat off of. All right, let me get this ready. This is round four. I gotta change my rounds. Round number four. And uh, so we go, we go five rounds for, for everybody that uh, wants to know. Um, uh, we do this every Sunday, 7 p.m. PST. We have a different animator or illustrator. Come on and do a drawing duel. Before, before we continue here, I just want to um, catch up in the chat a little bit and, and, and shout out some of the new people that have come in and are supporting us. Uh, I was wondering, thank you for the gifted sub, uh, uh, M.A. Semi. Uh, thank you for the follow, Killed by Creatures. Thank you for the subscription at Tier 1. Thank you so much. Paul Raw Model gifted a sub to Pendleton Ward. So Pendleton now uh, is, is is an elite oh. lord, uh, a lordling. <laughs> uh, LOL, Cody Bond resubscribed with Prime for two months. Uh, Halco Punch, Gnome Fire. Uh, Lady Zieg, uh, Raymond the Third, uh, Turbo Ned, a little Cody Bond. Thank you for the raid party of seven. I I, I said that earlier, but thank you again, Kodo Cake, uh, Fumzuer, Two P Frog, uh, Two P or not Two P, um, Crab uh, Scrambly, uh, Biological Grandson, F P Q uh, F P Quota, R uh, R Chitter, Eel Guts, S uh, Sleepy Wade, Emo Pilgrim. <laughs> Uh, Screaming Beef. There's a lot of good names in here. Uh, Jesse McManus, uh, Vic Creates, Purple Antoinette, Car Sick Table, Tom Thinks, gifted a sub to Fiducky. Thank you so much, Tom. Uh, Top Cat gifted a, a tier sub, a tier one sub to Tom Thinks. Nyan Tails, Diabolicos, uh, Gen, uh, Gensio Lara, uh, Zarandi, and uh, The Darkest of flights thank you for the follow if i missed anybody i'm sorry but thank you in general for coming and following welcome to the stream here we're about to enter our fourth round and uh to do that uh, i'm, I'm a, i have a little bit of smack talk um uh, da, 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 da. uh you're either a f uh oh uh your, your character is a full-time loser but don't worry they say um if you love your job you never work a day in your life um, what do you have to say to me? Is it uh, something stinky again? Yeah, you smell. All right, round four. Round four. Draw a picture. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start our timer at 20 minutes. And uh, Hummingbird Riders. All right. 
plan. Let's go! Yeah, we have to plan this. Um, I'm gonna look up reference too, actually. I think that I have an idea here. Radical. So if uh, you are new to this duel, um, we are uh, not only drawing your requests, but we are animating uh, your requests uh, doing a special move. So we're each doing our individual interpretations of Hummingbird Riders. And uh, I, real quick, while we're drawing, I'm going to play our intro one more time for all of you new viewers that are coming in so you know what's up. Hi, I'm Lord Spew and I host Dueling Drawing Requests every Sunday at 7 p.m. PST on twitch.tv slash lord underscore spew. Dueling Drawing Requests is a live competitive drawing show where I interview cool animators and illustrators while we draw suggestions from the chat against one another. If you'd like to come draw along with us, join our Discord, and at the end of the night, the guests and I will take a look at the drawings that you post in our draw along section and say some good, some nice stuff about them. Uh, this will almost get me banned, but maybe not quite. I just won't make it any bigger. Thank you <laughs> so much. This is great. I love this. And here's an alternate version. There are five rounds, and each round works a little bit like this. You guys. Throw up your crazy requests in the chat. The mods pick their favorites. Try to keep it under three words. And everyone votes on them in a poll located above the chat box. Then we start the 15 minute round. Oh, but now I'm in the chat and I have nothing to do but watch it draw. Wrong. There are two ways that you can interact with us. Type exclamation point animation in the chat to see a list of animated cheer commands you can use to tell us that you like our pictures. You can also use channel points to do super disruptive sabotages to me. Uh, this is used to take away my home field advantage, and sometimes they really suck. Jesus Christ. Okay, so somebody redeemed a sabotage. I have <gasps> to start over completely. So what? I'm deleting. I'm deleting my drawing. Then you vote again to see who wins the round. But what if the guest wins the first three rounds? Do you end early? No. We draw all five because we're addicted to drawing. And I'm lonely. At the end of the last round, we announce the winner. So, without further ado, let's start the show! And we're back. I know that there's a lot of people that are new to the show and uh, joined a little late, and I, I wanted to give a, a quick intro instead of explaining it all again myself. Right now, Penn and I are drawing your request, which is Hummingbird Riders. And let me get our, our, our cartoony fight music back on. So, uh, what, what do you, uh, what tech, what, what technique are you employing this time? What's your, what's your thought? Um. Going Pump. for a gun, a, a pistol, bullet. Pistol, pistol, bullet. I see that you're you're doing um, a large man riding a small bird. Yeah. Facts. I'm done. Did you say that you're done? Yeah. Whoa. I mean, maybe, maybe you could do a flock of them or something. <laughs> like with all the time that you have, you have 15 minutes left. <laughs> or you could color it if you want. Well, keep working on it. And uh, so here, let me draw my. I'm going to make this guy smaller. Alright. 
I'm going to make sure that this is on every frame. So I'm sort of going for a uh, like a hummingbird jousting knight kind of vibe. Separating everything into layers comes a little into handy. All right, so we have So we have our main body here. And I'm gonna make my guy have like a, a javelin for a beak, I think. I always fumble around when I have to draw like a suit of armor, or I guess anything. I I uh, I think that one of the the cool, the coolest versions of a knight that I've seen recently, or was um, it was actually uh, Trudy from Midnight Gospel. I really liked the uh, design of the knight. Did you know? If, did Jesse take a lead on that one? I, think I drew Trudy first. I think I, and then. Thomas Hunter went over it. Man, Thomas Hunter, I've been a fan of his stuff for a long time. I love Thomas's work, man. I just watched uh, Fist of the North Star, which is a big oh! I think, inspiration. Yes. Um, it was really good, really yes. funny. So uh, one of the first times that anybody ever edited something that I had done was um, uh, some somebody took this cartoon that I made called fist head and it was about a guy who punches people with his head um and it's a fist and they somebody edited it edited it uh to to, to be fist of the uh fist head of the north star and they yeah. they did a fan edit where it was all sound clips from fist of the north star but uh they um played with it uh with uh with my audio and i was like oh my like that was my f i was like pretty young when that happened and i was like whoa like somebody actually put energy yeah. into do, do you have do you have an experience like that like with the first time that it was yeah. like whoa like so, some somebody spent their own energy like animating something of i don't know editing something of mine or whatever remaking it yeah it's weird and you're like whoa someone did that <laughs> um it's cool it's pretty fun do you remember what like a like a first for you or something like the first like uh, this doesn't really count but like when when the adventure time pilot happened i had just graduated from school where i was doing i was trying to animate my own films and then a film got made that i storyboarded uh, by people that weren't me animating it. And I was like, what? It's so weird. It just feels really weird. But that's different uh, than what you're talking about. Because, like, fan art of your stuff. I don't know. On Flapjack, that was the first time that I really got to see fan art popping up of uh, stuff that we were drawing. Um, I don't have a good story. It's just, it was just fun, a fun memory of that. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it, it really doesn't have to be like a fan interaction, but I mean, anytime you, like, you have something that you were a part of that someone put time into, I just think is a, a cool feeling. Um, but yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, thank you for the, uh, the time reminder. We have 10 minutes. I think I, I think that we're uh, we're both getting that the hang of this a little bit. I think that uh... yeah, it came together. This last round. Um,
Oh, snap! It's a slugfest! Let's do... I'm gonna do, like, one or two frames where... He gets hit. at some point that this is kind of a different thing anyway too but i learned that it was like like because when i go to comic-con and freak out on people that i'm a fan of uh they don't know quite what to do with me <laughs> when i'm like your artwork's amazing <laughs> <laughs> well because they think it should be the other way around but you just legitimately I'm, I'm, like their stuff because i'm no no just because i'm flipping out and they're like having to like take care of me while I'm st stumbling over my words and like they're trying to be nice to me you know and I'm like oh, comic. Oh, when I was in high school or whatever and, and uh, uh, so when I'm at cons this is a different thing than what you're talking about but, um, oh real quick I have to uh, I got to sabotage I have to erase five uh, lines it's not too bad but it sets me back a little bit I was watching Tom use that object. Uh, what do you call it? You know I, th I think that he was doing it on accident, <laughs> but but yeah. No. Uh, I think he was doing it legit, and I was like, oh, it's probably because he saves all of his. Ob he needs he needs them for some reason. I was trying to figure it out. It was easy to delete. I noticed mm -hmm. when he was going through lines. Well, I know, I know that I know pe uh, people use it for storyboarding a lot because they can very easily move around things without, um, like messing up the uh, the lines. Like it, it, it makes it very easy to move them all around. Oh, that's right. I have mine. I have my guy get like a a little bit of a running start. Let me move loop, move it over, and then I want him to charge forward more because it's funnier. There we go. And then I'll have a, another uh, sort of impact frame that that sends them both backwards. Uh, maybe, I mean, oh yeah, we have enough, we have enough time. I'll, I'll, I'll do a little, uh, a little hummingbird recovery animation. So I'm going to do a little bit of a, of a wobble. So how's um you you you've started streaming was that was that pretty recently how's how's it been so far? I've been streaming since you stream. Oh. Nice. Um, I used to stream boards while I was working on flapjack. Um, I would just stream them really far away. No one no one ever cared. Uh, I would just stream it so that it was like kind of blurry and you couldn't really tell what I was writing or drawing. <laughs> Wait, so are you telling me that you some some NDA type? Some, I don't uh, know. I was just streaming it, and I assumed you know you wouldn't want to spoil the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Playing it fast and loose, Pen. I did a little bit. No one ever seen the mine. So uh, this this is just some some advice for all you um, young people coming up. Um, if you work on your first show. Uh, stream what you're working on and someday <laughs> you'll have several of your own shows and you won't yeah they won't sue that. you or anything you can get fired don't do that <laughs> <laughs> maybe the rules are a little bit more 
uh, strict now. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I have. I guess because I wasn't like releasing mm -hmm. I don't know, uh, production art or something. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows if even anyone was paying attention? I don't know. Back then, people were like, "What streaming? What's that? What's what's streaming?" All right, so we have four minutes. I'm taking it easy on this one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I mean, you need sometimes you need it, man. You you have a you have a lead, so you're not like in the hot seat like I am. So I got to get all those lines. I got to bust my my hump. Got to bust my rump. Got to bust my hump. All right. I remember. On midnight, he said, uh, "He said something like this. I know, watching the animators animate, you were like, this is why I know I'll always be a board artist and not an animator, because of how much animation the animators were doing. <laughs> but you're a you're a monster. You're an oh, animation monster. Thanks, man, that's really sweet of you, dude. <laughs> I, so I mean, like, I I use it for my own shorts, but I I think it's more that like adapting to how other people want." me to animate on their stuff is really overwhelming to me. I think that's probably it. Like, I like animating on my own work, but it's, um... And, you know, it, it's been drilled into me so hard from all those, you know, from, from several years of animating, working on shorts or a show or whatever, but, um... It's, uh... I mean, it's stress. It's it's stressful working animation on a show where there's deadlines, and you know, I like animating when I can control like how fast I do it. And... I mean, which is right now is not a good example because we have a timer, <laughs> and it's it's potentially yeah. the most stressful kind of animation you can do. <laughs> but uh... that's the only way I get work done. Actually, is if I'm like streaming and talking to somebody and mm -hmm. also drawing. Like with other people at the same time, like yeah. I'll get more done in that moment than I'll do in weeks, weeks and weeks. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little similar in that way. I think that we, we, we handle procrastination in a very similar way, Ben. Actually. Yeah. All right. So <sighs> make this a graphic I'm symbol. I'm Carly's message about deadlines. Thrill of deadlines. <laughs> A thrill. Ugh. I'm hungry for it. All right, so let's get our um, our final frame in place so that Whoa. this makes sense. And that's weird. Someone just wrote in chat that midnight went on Netflix one year tomorrow. It's been a year anniversary. Whoa! I also I heard that um. That last episode was up for uh, an Annie. Yeah, we just lost. This... I just I watched last oh. night. Oh, um. I, I forgot that it was last <laughs> night. It's one minute. One minute left. It's okay because we got to see Gendy Tartakovsky in the shower. That's good news. All right, so I'm gonna sort of semi be lazy here and I'm gonna make one because crouching when, frame here because when Gandhi won they played a video of him in the shower accepting the award oh my god everyone got to make a video of them saying yeah we won and you submit the video before you win <laughs> so Duncan and I did a video oh what was your guys video we were saying yay we won and then we thanked everybody and um whoa that looks awesome thanks all right i think i'm done with 13 seconds second to fair let's uh make sure mine is looping in the playback and uh time is up class pencils down. Whoa! all right time's up everybody it's time to vote i was just watching that Richard Williams YouTube <laughs> of things going polls.
balls. Oh, uh, so I wanted to talk to you about, uh, about oh, yeah, guys, uh, the poll is up in the chat. Go vote. Um, I wanted to talk about uh, uh, how you came uh, across the idea of um, you for a little while you were doing like an interactive D and D almost type story where the audience gets to pick pick what happens next in the adventure. It was like a series of uh, tweets I think that you did one time, and it was really cool. I had never seen something like that, and there's probably stuff that existed before that. That, but where did um where did that idea like come from? Yeah, it, into the choose your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like like they choose what happens next, and then you draw the next picture of what happens next. There's a That's few sort of that thing. Was on, on Twitter. There's a few I can't remember, but I'm sure I saw one of them and was like, I want to try it, and then I did it. Um, uh, but also, what's the famous one? Damn it. Um, it's a little kid. Uh, it's a web comic. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't remember what it was called. I, I do have some friends that, that do similar ones, but uh, I don't know like the Homestuck. what was it called? Homestuck. Homestuck. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering whether that whether you were influenced by those or more of like a like, hey, I like how D and D feels. Like, what if we do an interactive thing? Um, I think I just knew of those other ones, and yeah. <laughs> I mean, was it was it was it was it was it fun? Did you like it? Yeah, it's fun. I had like a real specific, uh, like, so. I'm trying to remember all the rules. Oh, I, I won! I won! Yeah. <laughs> we tied it up. <laughs> oh yeah! Uh, continue. That's exciting. <laughs> what were you saying? Uh, do you uh, remember? Uh, it was fun to like the, the rules grew organically. Like people would tweet. Uh, st uh, I forgot how you start the game back up, but it requires two asterisks. And you have to place them around the word. Oh, was that the the text-based one where it's similar? Yeah, I did like a text-based game where people could control the game and like pull up a menu, and I would pull. Up, and my next tweet would be like the menu, you win? and then they could choose options and stuff. Um, but you win. Twitter. That's rad. I like. Uh, man, I, I I just I like those interactive things. Um, and I figure that it must be for somebody that's like that makes a lot of their own stuff and has to come up with the ideas that sometimes it, it might be kind of relieving to have other people decide what happens and you be sort of like like it's like the like you're the surrogate that they're drawing that the collective is drawing through that that might be fun. Good. I mean, yeah. it's like what you're doing, right? Yeah, I guess fun. it is what we're doing right here, isn't it? You guys are like uh, we're like puppets in, in your little theater. That you guys get to control. It's fun to talk to 150 people. Oh yeah, I I I just noticed how many people are in the chat. What's up? <laughs> What's up, 150 people? I, I I like to think of it like there's a like a little a school gymnasium full of chairs and they're watching mm -hmm. us in a little talent show. Um, throw up your requests in the chat, people, if you're not already doing it. Uh, I made this special little fighters throw up your request thing because when I was when I was thinking about it, I was like, "Are they gonna know what to what to do?" And so all I did was draw two little fighters fighting, and I, it doesn't really explain anything. I don't. I, I at the end of the day, I don't know what, <laughs> but I guess it's another reminder that uh, that this is little fighters themed. And uh, we're drawing your ideas for little fighters, and we're each going to draw a version of it. So if you suggest uh, a slug barbarian or something like that, uh, then we're both going to draw our interpretations of your slug barbarian, and we're going to animate them doing a special little move over a 20-minute round. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, yeah! Uh, Vitalsi, thank you for the uh, follow. Draw bomb, thank you for the follow. Black Ninja Assassin has gifted a sub to uh, Perb Antoinette. Thank you for doing that, my dude. Uh, Natal Arts, Marissa Sucks, uh, Perry the Carry, uh, Ritterhouse Seven, Cool Beans. Uh, thanks again. And uh, I was wondering, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Titus Pen. 
Emmy Sub, uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, Killed by Creatures, thank you for the subscription at tier one. Uh, appreciate you guys, and uh, and well, welcome to the welcome to the match. Um, let's see. I uh, <clears throat> was it was it? Did, were you nervous about making a cartoon like Midnight Gospel where? Like there aren't that many examples of shows that are made around a, a, a podcast, and, and and I think admittedly it was a little clunky in the beginning trying to figure out like how much do we focus on the the, the podcast audio, and then is it distracting having separate stuff going on, and how much do we make them react to it? Um, what what? Oh, yeah, um, I forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, what what a. Uh, I guess what were your initial thoughts going into that? Were you nervous about how how it would work, or were you inspired by something to do it? Um, I just thought I thought it would work, and then when anything doesn't work, you try to fix it. That's all you can do. It's just like things come up, and you try to fix it. Uh, um, that's for me. It's like jumping into a mosh pit every every time. You're just like, what's gonna happen? Let's try it out. Man. Uh, uh, pen in a mosh pit. Somebody suggest that one, <laughs> uh, dude. I I I think it came at an interesting time because um, one of the lead things that I see young animators doing when they uh, leave school is um, like it, it's a it's it's scary to write dialogue, um, uh, and B it's like scary to write your own stories so a lot of people start out um practicing animation with clips and snippets of podcast audio and it's a pretty recent phenomenon you see people doing it with uh, game grumps or let's plays like their favorite funny clips from let's play audio or podcasts um but it's something that a lot of people have started doing and uh Midnight Gospel was one of the first shows that I've seen that sort of took that energy and put it into a, a show. I think I think it came at an um, an interesting time in general for that kind of thing. Yeah. Maybe it's just things lining up. I don't know, but. <laughs> Ooh, Ghost Fight. All right, so this is this is going to be our final round. Um, our our uh, suggestion for our final round is Ghost Fight. Now, um, if you're not doing it already, this is your last chance chance to join our Discord and draw along with us um, and post our our, uh, our 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 last suggestion is going to be uh, it's Ghost Fight, I think, and. Uh, you can you can draw along with us, and at the end of the duel, we're gonna look through your drawings a little bit, um, and uh, say something nice about it. Ghost fight. Boop. Uh, so let me make sure that all of our things are updated. We're in round five. It's two two. We're tied up. Uh, it's down to the wire here. It's uh, tense on my end, and. Um, Let's uh, before we officially start the clock, I'm gonna throw my my last uh, little bit of smack talk at you. Um, the only way you're going to see a world where you win this next round is if you stick your head in a world simulator, and even then, if you do, uh, that world will will apocalyptize. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Kind of a mouthful. It is kind of a mouthful. Is that uh, and that's his retort. That's We're entering retort. round five. Final round. Who will win? All right. So we're starting our timer. We're doing a ghost fight. Whew. So ghosts can be pretty amorphous. Um, Are you doing kind of like a floppy amoeba amorphous kind of ghost or um, a more uh, human formed ghost? Probably going goopy ghost. That sounds the funnest, the most fun to animate.
Maybe I'll... I'm gonna do kind of a, um... I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do a, 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 go, a Ghost Goku. But he's... kamehameha his head. At you. Maybe I'll... He's happy, Goku. He's, ha he's happy to be thrown. Shiny dog, you had to take out the trash. Oh, well, you're back right in time to see a ghost fight. I guess we'll have... I could do the, the halo on, on his head that he's holding. I'm going to have a, a, a headless Goku. Um, and he's doing a, a Kamehameha head. Um... I, I think... I've, I've done a lot of projectiles in this one, but... They're fun to animate, so I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm a four trick, four or five trick pony. All right. I was trying to do something that felt climactic. For our, for our final for our final round here blasting ahead sort of came to mind what uh are you going more for a uh a, 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 a scare oh a scare you're you're gonna you guys gonna try to scare me yeah So let's do let's do our guy powering up. Start the tents up here. Trace over our little head, and he starts um, getting mad. Maybe as 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 the throw is about to go down. We're at the uh, fifteen minute mark. I think uh, maybe I'll have the the head turn Super Saiyan. Have some energy coming up. A little bit of dust starting to form. 
<laughs> there's a truck. There's a really loud truck outside of my house. <laughs> sorry if uh, <laughs> sorry if that's distracting. I was hoping that the the music would cover it up, but uh, the truck prevails. The truck wins round five. Can we get a quick poll? Um, does the truck win round five? Thank you. Yeah, dude, everyone vote on whether the truck wins round five. The poll is up in the chat. What are you waiting for? Your vote counts. Get down to them polls. Alright, so this will be his his power up pose when everything starts to uh <clears throat> Everything starts to, uh, t to power up here. And I think that we're going to do two versions of the same pose that, uh, that loop, like, um, like we're, like we're powering up here. Twelve minutes. Or so. A little bit over. So, uh, what's your what's your method of scariness? Uh, is, is it sort of like, does it start off jump scare. chill? And then it's going to turn scary? It's jump scare. Jump scare. So we're going to do a few power-up frames. Graphic symbol. And I'm basically going to trace this frame here. Do you, do you watch stuff while you work, or do you listen to stuff? Do, are you able to, to watch things while you work? No, I'll try and fail. Uh, <laughs> so, um, I usually listen listen to Questlove on YouTube. Whoa! Or on hey. Twitch. He's on Twitch, too. Um, and I watch Twitch streams. Boring stuff that's, you know, boring enough that it's not going to make me keep looking mm -hmm. over at it. I think I do the same thing. I, I try to watch stuff, um, but, I mean, I always I always get dis distracted. It, it's the sort of thing where I shouldn't watch stuff, but I but I do. It's ten minutes. It says ten minutes, Bell? Is that what, uh, is that what the bell? Yeah. Ten minute mark, ten minute mark. Thank you, dude. Okay.
Oh, the truck one? Oh my god. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to, um, we're gonna declare a second place and a third place winner. Looks like the truck, the truck uh. one. A after, after all this. <laughs> shoot. Oh, shoot. It's hard to do a, um, a, a jump scare animation, I think, usually. Uh, it's it's brave of you to... Uh... No, it's it's cheap. It's the cheap one, because you don't have to do any in-betweens. <laughs> there we go, and... Uh... Uh, weird pen holding sabotage redeemed. Okay, so I have to hold my pen weird. Alright, so it's not super weird, but I'm gonna hold my pen like this. Okay. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna have my guy over these frames. All right, I have to do a drink and draw, too. I have to race five lines. One, you have to. two, three, four, five. They don't want me to win. So I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to do a little trick. Um, I'm going to use a straw, guys. Now I have to do a headbang for a minute while I drink. Okay. Never mind. I can't do the straw thing. Okay. Hey, can anyone help you? Can, can people spend points to help you? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> you should, uh, set that up. I will say, if uh, if you guys cheer, if you cheer any bits, um, if you cheer 100 bits, we'll we'll add 10 seconds in the chat, uh, for my sake. We'll add 10 seconds to the time at the end. There you go. Alright, we got a hundred bits. A hundred twenty bits. hundred twenty bits? Is that a... Oh, we got a bunch of That's bits! Two Is that two minutes for you? That... No, 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 it'll be 20, 20 extra seconds per one hundred bits. Okay, I think I'm, I think I'm done the, the, the drink thing. Uh, I gotta count up these bits once we get to the end of our clock and we'll see how much extra time I have, because holding my pen weird does mess it up. Yep. 
<laughs> okay, so... Oh, uh, thank you guys! I'll shout you guys out at the end for cheering bits. Every 20 bits, or every 100 bits, uh, we're gonna add, uh, 20 seconds to the clock. This is kind of what Midnight felt like, except you couldn't stop for a year. <laughs> what, like, getting more time? Just, like, not having enough time, crunch, you know, like, drawing as fast as you can, things are messing up, you know, like, my... Every fifth time I put my pen down at one point, I knew that it wouldn't make a line, and that was so maddening. Whenever that was happening. That was happening. That was just my Woo! What was that bell? Dude, thank you everybody for the gifts, the the gift subs. Holy, holy shoot! Oh, uh, we got a hype train. Hell yeah, guys! Let's get this choo choo train going. And we'll do we'll do some uh some timer math once we get to the the end the end here. We got a uh, 2 2 minutes 40 seconds. I think that was like the the Hype train, hype train, hype train. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're doing we're going super mode. We're going super saiyan mode. So I think I'm going to lean into this um uh this pen being hard to draw with and I'm gonna go I'm gonna go like sketchy for this 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 power up frame cool. I think that they they want this last drawing to go on for a little bit here <laughs> let's get this hype train going choo choo Are you listening to music? <laughs> Am I listening to music? Uh, every everyone is listening to music. Um, okay. Uh, I have I have uh, like fight soundtracks that go on in the background under us in case it's sometimes we're quiet, so it's nice. <laughs> Do you feel like that's selfish of me to I'm listening to music and you aren't? You wanted to too. Yes. <laughs> All right, so just a little reminder, I'm still holding my pen like this. I think um, after the time runs out and we add the new time, I'm gonna hold my pen regular again because uh, that's how my new version of the rules work. Thank you guys for cheering bits and, and helping. Thank you guys so much for the gifted tier subs. Holy shit. Before before we continue, I'm gonna I'm gonna read them off from the hype train. That's so nice, you guys. Thank you so much for all the gift subs. Getting this hype train to level four. All right, 37 seconds in the official round, but then we we, we do have our uh, our new uh, added time. I gotta do. Actually, uh, could could I get um? Oh, okay. There's headbang for the last 30 seconds. I'm gonna headbang. Poor role model, you give a given a total of 37 gift subs to this channel. You are a nut. Alright. <laughs> okay. So the, the 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 time is up real quick. I'm gonna stop drawing while we uh, count these up, and there's gonna be um uh, uh we're gonna add up the gift subs uh or the the bits in the chat hey, can i have a uh, a mod add up the uh the, the gift sub uh, sorry the the cheered bits in the chat if they if if every 100 of them adds 20 seconds to the clock can we do some time math real quick instead of me uh 220 seconds 220 seconds uh so that's how many minutes is that i'm not i'm not doing minute math on the stream <laughs> it uh 
They've already been keeping track. Let me get uh, let me get that in uh, in, in how many minutes and how many seconds? Three minutes, forty seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna add three minutes and forty seconds to our to our chat here. Thank you so much uh, for 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 doing a uh, minute math for for me here. Three minutes. Three. Hold on. Three minutes and forty seconds. And uh, I'm gonna get the the timer back on here. Oh, okay. And but before we start this time again, I'm I'm just gonna um, shout out every, everybody. Um, thank you so much for continuing this hype train. Maggot played Grad Oxy Mom. Thank you so much for the. Uh, it's like uh, five gift subs. Quitchen has gifted a, a gift sub. Uh, tier one to Farky Vision for role model. Uh, thank you for the gift sub. It Sems used 100 bits. Thank you so much. Uh, Cycle Spider gift sub. Uh, oh, is that like five, six? Holy shit! Uh, Black Ninja Assassin gifted a a, t a, a sub. Uh, everybody who got a gift sub, say thank you to the person that gave you a gift sub. That's nice. Business Daddy, uh, two uh, 200 bits. Rob Bot. Thank you for the follow, Business Daddy. 120, uh, uh, 101 bits. Let's see, 100 bits. Pickle Ricky gave a gift sub. Uh, I was wondering, gave oh a gift sub. Poor role model uh, gave like seven, seven more, six or seven more gift subs. You're, you guys are nuts. Space Dad, poor role model. Top Cat, yo, Business Daddy. Poor role model. Vic creates. Business Daddy. Big Nose Bug. Danny the Demon Art. Uh, Iba, uh, Iba Razant, thank you for the follow. Uh, and uh, all the names I said above, thank you for the bits, uh, however many that you gave. Holy shit! Okay, so we have a new time on the clock. Let's uh, let's get that started up real quick. I'm uh, back to holding my pencil normal. Um, so. All right. Do you, uh, so we have three more minutes on the clock. Do you have anything that uh, are you are you pretty much done, or did you want to oh. try to add? You you could uh, can, add. I'll, yeah, I'll take it. I thought those were your minutes because no 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 you they I, were giving I, because they were giving you time because you lost time. Oh, well, whatever you think is fair. If you if you want to add like I mean if you want it to be a jump scare if you want to add like a black background or something that helps make it spookier, feel free. Okay, I don't think it's fair, but I am gonna add things. Do it. It's all good. I, I, my, my thing is, I just want to finish my animation. So that, that's that's as as long as that happens, I don't care what you do. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. So we're finishing our animation. We got a bunch of energy coming out here. There we go bunch of energy coming out and let's uh and so now he's gonna be now he's gonna be super saiyan so let's get a uh, draw the frame before here and he's about to throw this super saiyan blast Yo, level five hype train. Holy shit. Thank you guys. I actually don't know if we've been to level five hype train before. Thank you everyone that has contributed. That's so nice of you guys. And we're going to give him super saiyan here. And he is about to throw his Kamehameha Blast. I'm going to have him do just a little bit even more of a duck. Bell, one minute mark again. All right, I actually don't I don't have enough time to do exactly what I wanted to do. But 
Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep him transformed. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do something silly. I do have one frame just at the end where where he gets um, scared of you. And I'm not going to draw anything else, but I'm just going to reposition him so that it's funny. So I have this power up. Alright, and uh, let me just position my guy. And we're gonna set it to uh, loop the playback. So here's the final round. And uh, I have him just, wow. he's powering up and then he gets scared of your guy. That's awesome. I think I got a little ambitious. Or a little overly <laughs> ambitious with 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 what I wanted him to do, but uh, oh well, that's how that's how it works sometimes. Getting sabotage is really hard with animation, man. Um, I just want to uh give a quick shout out to uh Trothbell has used a hundred bits. Thank you so much, dude. Top Cat gifted a tier one sub to Draw Bomb. Philip Opus, thank you so much for the follow, dude. Uh, Pen is animating in Adobe Animate. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, vote in this final round. Everybody, the poll is up in the chat. This is the final round, my dude. The amount you got down is unreal. Spew. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah. I, uh, why don't we... Um, uh, why, don't, why don't we get a bunch of questions for Pen in the chat and uh, just start start saying them if you have a question for pen um i'm going to start looking at the um uh i'm, I'm gonna look at the draw long section here and uh after the official vote is announced we're uh we're gonna look at them <coughs> i'm okay that's what they're asking me Let's get uh let's get some some questions in the chat and if you want to look at the chat and just answer whatever you you feel like just read what the question is and uh an answer it. You don't have to answer anything you don't feel like. So the final round winner is Pendleton Ward. <laughs> Woo, baby! Hell yeah, guys. Congratulations, my dude. I'm going to do my my little uh my little explosion, my little my little me explosion. Uh <laughs> that I made today. Congratulations, dude. Explode. You win. And, uh... You win. Congratulations, dude. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, thanks. Thanks, man. I was trying to read the chat. You're saying congratulations. Explodes in me. You win. And I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna play my uh my loss my loss uh screen real quick, and then uh let's let's have you look at some of these questions. So uh, while while you look at some of these questions, I'm gonna bring up our uh, cool submissions. Uh, if you haven't submitted uh, your drawings already, if you drew along with us, post them up in the uh, uh, the draw along section of our Discord. I'm gonna post the link one more time if uh, if you don't have it. 
But, uh, I'm going to take off the, uh, there we go. All right, I'm going to take off the music for now. Um, let's see. My dogs are good. I take them on walks. They're real happy. It was hot today, so Slug got tired real fast. Let's, uh, uh, before you answer a question, just uh, if, if you wouldn't mind just saying what the question was, uh, just for future people who, who watch Carly the video. Carly asked, how are your dogs? All right, so we're, uh, let's look at, so Farky submitted this gremlin animation, if you can see my screen, it's Lupin. Nice job, dude. This is really cool. It's like a, a show off, like he's like baiting uh, somebody into an attack here. Here, let me, uh, I'm going to cool. zoom up, I'm going to zoom up on my, on my screen so we can see what's going on, what I'm showing. Look at that. That's cool. Uh, that's it's also uh, a, a pretty e economic mm. amount of drawings, dude. That's nice. Uh, so we got um, this pre uh, sumo pretzler. Like that big pizza slice. Whoa, dude. It's cool. I love that uh that flex, man. Uh, let's see. Is there any other questions? That look fun, man. Uh, I think a lot of people are asking questions. Where? What's the most inspiring kind of weather to you, Ben? Rain is always fun. Put on Vangelis. Hmm. It's relaxing. When it's raining. A little I play cool Dark Souls breeze. when it's raining. I like being close to the window, and so there's like a little bit of a spritz that hits my face. Uh, it feels good. <laughs> it feels good to me. Mm -hmm. uh, whoa! Look at this Super Saiyan baby. They they went a similar direction to me in my in the last round. <laughs> this thing is this is crazy. Flamble, my elbow's okay. Uh, did you hurt your elbow? No, I don't think so. I don't remember. I'm not sure what they're talking about. Whoa! This one's really cool. Look at this uh, hummingbird rider. Whoa! This is like, like this looks like a storyboard. This is really good, dude. Man, <laughs> uh, uh, that I mean, it looks like you really love cool. bikes. You like drawing bikes, my dude. Motor, motor, motor bikes. Look at this. Uh, we got this. Um, ghosts <laughs> hitting each other. And you did a background and everything. I, I really like that the uh, edges of the ring not are tombstones. Oh, it's not even working. They're they're, they're just not, passing through yeah. each other. I like uh, I like that you did a background. A lot of people don't do. Uh, a lot of people are scared of backgrounds. <laughs> backgrounds. Uh, so lava alley. So that was Farky. Uh, our submissions have been uh, Farky did all the animated ones with us. Man, you did all the animated ones each each round with us. Holy shit! Um, Lava Alley did uh did this one. Is this the? Uh, is this, finally, I got it. Is this the sumo? I, I forget what our rounds were. Which which one was this? Is this the sumo wrestler one? Uh, Lava Alley. The pretzel sumo. Uh, either way, I really like this animation. It's good. <laughs> what? Uh, what? Uh, what were our, what were our rounds? Hold on, I gotta I gotta look through. I'm tripping. Uh, Big Nose Bug says, uh, "Pen, do you think Fred Flintstone and Barty Rubble should kiss?" Yes. Yes, I do. So it's official from my little pen uh, <laughs> that uh, that they should, in fact, kiss. Barney Rubble. Scroll up. There are tens of submissions. There are tons of submissions. Oh, I have to scroll up. I didn't scroll up. 
Oh, I think this was the... Was this the last move? My bad. Uh, okay. So, Lava Alley, I, I love your drawing. I, I think... Oh, it was the ghost! He's a ghost! Oh, my God. I'm so stupid. All right. So, if I scroll up... Uh, where are the submissions? Are these in the, um... Let's see. Uh, Lord Spew server. Okay, my bad, my bad. Here we go. I was looking in the wrong server, so that's great. Uh, there are many, there are many submissions, and because I was, <laughs> I was looking at the wrong server. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, here we go. Let's look. Let's look. Sorry about that, guys. Pencil. <laughs> my mom knew a friend of Matt's. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, here. Let's look. Let's take a look at these pen. So this is a this is a little ghost animatic, uh, two ghosts fighting. Uh, this these are straight up storyboards. These are good. These these are like Casper style ghosts. What do you think of those? Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> and then <laughs> then we got a uh, Flamby. Uh, so that was from Fishback. Flamby. Uh, here, I'm gonna I'm gonna shrink this a little so so it fits in my screen. Sorry if I'm uh. There we go. So. We got these like sort of prospector ghosts. The, here here lies McCoy and Hatfield and I and I and uh, and these guys are are ghosts and they're and they're dueling uh banjos. There we go. I think I I've positioned it on my screen in a way that you're gonna be able to see it now. Uh. Here is a very spooky... This is a texture ghost doing a classic boo attack. I like um, I like the va the vagueness of... I mean, yeah. it, it should, we just got some texture shapes. I really like that. Mm -hmm. A little abstract. This is attempt... Uh, this is um, Perry attempting to punch my friend Beans. And it goes right through. I like. Uh, I really like when people use uh, non-black lines. You have some a nice use of form there. I like it. Uh, what do you think about this pen? This is based off the classic meme. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Are you aware of this meme? No. Why don't you? Uh, uh... <laughs> There, there are many, many submissions, so I'm going to just sort of go through them, and if you want to uh, just, uh, I mean, you can look at them as, as I bring them up, but why don't you uh, answer questions if they ask them? Because there, there okay. are too many to go through to, to, uh, to, to spend a lot of time on them, but I'm, I'm just going to do it while you talk. Uh, I'm answering a couple of them in the chat. One of the questions was, how often do I stroke my beard when I'm thinking? And I do it a lot. <laughs> it feels good. Yeah. Man, these are boo nunchucks. Whoa. So this is uh, Brian, and the last one was Finn. Here's cool. here's a here's a ghost uh, with a knife. Dude, nice. <laughs> I like that. Hummingbird rider, and they're in love. Uh, so that's Weird Star, Marvier. Uh, I think this is another ghost. He's throwing little spears. Oh, no, he's throwing a, a hummingbird. He's throwing a hummingbird at somebody. Very nice, dude. <laughs> uh, so this one is a, a, a ghost moving a chair and tipping it over, and that's the fight move. I actually really like this. It's, it's all about what you don't see. It's what Jamie animated. Got Ghost Fight, Two Ghosts by Lady Spew. Top Cat Yo. Oh, this guy's scared. <laughs> he, he riding and he's scared. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Oh, yo! So this is a pixel animation. It's very small, but we got a, um, a pixel animated hummingbird rider. This is super cute, dude. Hell yeah. So good. 
Flamby did a pick, uh, did another rider. There we go. Brian, no, the other Brian did this. Uh, th this this guy's struggling. I like the uh, both of their expressions. This is tight. It's like a, a, a frog. He's a, a toad riding this uh, hummingbird. Yeah, it's nice. Whoa. Oh, this it's you. Someone animated you skateboarding. <laughs> so I, I don't I don't know if that was part of the the round, but they just animated you skateboarding. <laughs> so so there's that. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> That's accurate. It's accurate. That's how it go. I can't ollie. Hummingbird rider, dude. I love animating hummingbirds because you just make their their wings <laughs> yeah. go like really fast. Anything that's moving really fast. I that's think it's nice. Funny. Hummingbird riders, they're clashing with the big swords, making the big smoke. Uh, so the last few uh, were Lady Spew, um, Finn, and the uh, Simply Out of This World uh, did the uh, animation of you on the skateboard. Red. Okay, here we go. Pendleton Ward. So Pendleton now uh, is, is, is an elite lord. Okay, so we got this. This is your baby one, and uh, and he and he zo he zooms in with a with a with a little fart. This person filmed their screen. It's a it's a baby hitting another baby, and the the other baby's crying. And here's uh, Carly did these um, babies and uh, smushes the one baby uh, Cyclops with a big leg. I like how I really like that head on uh, this guy. So Carly was an animator on uh, Midnight Gospel. Hell yeah. Top Cat Yo did uh, these. I mean, it's almost it's a whole little scene with the, with these babies versing each other. Uh, this is really cool. These are cool boards. It's like a movie. It's like I'm watching a noir yeah. movie, dude. Whoa. I didn't think so many people would animate with us. Animating with a time limit's hard. These are amazing. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. Whoa. This one hits his head wow. and, and poop flies out. And he says coward. Mean and cool. <laughs> so the the first person I ever had onto DDR is Matt Marblow. And uh, he had this baby doing severe chops, oh, dude. I love this. He was, really a, good. he was a he was a board artist on on Midnight Gospel. Uh, Damn, whoa! Cool. Love that. Love how that hair is sticking when he punches. <laughs> Some follow Quack. through. It, it the hair punches with it. <laughs> and uh, Finn did the bouncy baby. Good job, dude. So we got Brian, the other Brian, with a severe orc child. Questing cupcakes. Nice. Uh yeah, you I think you're the first one to to do to use like those little uh like little strollers and those carriers um like dill pickles rode in. That's really cool. Questing cupcakes. Whoa. Uh this is a grim Tommy Pickles murder. Uh or it's catch up. I hope he didn't hurt anyone real. Yeah, he stabbed a bottle of ketchup and then rubbed it all over his body that's my narrative <laughs> that's our narrative that we're making up to save the innocence in our brains oh this is really good uh don hastily don hastily uh you got your you got your sword the baby he's like a little baby goblin that might be is that the gremlin or is that the baby i think that's the baby <laughs> so now we're getting the gremlin territory i think it's a nice drawing and we, we got this uh Pretzler. Whoa. Whoa, dude. He's slinging. He's slinging. He, he, maybe he's uncooked, so we got that floppy dough. Whoa. I like how the guy rolls back, though. That's cool. That was Finn. I love that. Uh, Top Cat did... Man, in almost all of yours, Top Cat, you, you did a whole scene where they're fighting. So here's a pretzel and a stick pretzel fighting. Man, it's so cool to go through all these. You guys are crazy. <laughs> all right. And then we have this, uh, he do a steppy. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Fishback, very nice, dude. Uh, Titus Pen, 
uh, do uh, he smack with the pretzel and the head fly off? So I'm gonna bring the music back for a second, just to feel some of the feel some of the silence here. Um, You're telling me, dude. I haven't heard of music. That's true. I, it, there's been awkward silence for Penn the whole time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think Penn functions best under awkward silence. It's like his version of pressure. I mean, he beat my ass. Uh, we have, <laughs> we beat a, uh, we have a uh, this this pretzel. It's almost like a pretzel butterfly. Maybe a crossover with the baby, even if you wanted it to. That's a sumo wrestler, pretzler. Sumo pretzlers. I like these. And it's the uh, there's two. I like when people do two. It's like a little scene. We got uh, these got this guy. He's he's doing his his classic move. Ladies, <laughs> weird star did uh this gremlin eating a fish bone. It's 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 uh it's actually pretty peaceful. Unless the battle was with a fish. Whoa! Lee did a uh a balloon animal one. <laughs> is this wow. a Wait, this isn't... Uh, oh, it, this is a family guy. This is Stewie Griffin from Family Guy. <laughs> I was gonna say. The, I mean, the, we'll count that as the baby one. That fits into the baby one, dude. You guys are nuts. Okay, so we have a uh, a trash gremlin balloon animal. This is really cool. I really like this one, Lee. I, he's, we have people doing mixed mediums here, Ben. Multidisciplinary. Badass. Yeah, Trash Gremlin from John, Don Hastily. Quitchin did uh, this Trash Gremlin. He pops out of the trash can for a surprise. And uh, the can lid hits him on the noggin, dude. I really like that. It's a good loop. Yeah. Questing cupcakes with the Trash Gremlin. You got a, a shield. Family. Top Cat Yo uh, guy comes out of the lid. And uh, it's, it's similar to Quitchin. He, he's he's forced back into his lair. This guy does the uh, the pokey eyes by Titus Penn. And uh, I'm just going a little bit faster because I didn't realize how many there were. Uh, Lady, Lady Spew. I love these. She drew a, a goblin, even uh, not a gremlin. <laughs> there we go. That, that's like a thrown out lamp. Trash Goblin. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, we got a... This is a monkey. I don't know if that fits into the uh, prompt. There we go. We've we've reached the end of our uh, draw along section. Thank you guys so much for uh, drawing along with us today. And uh, why don't we get a bunch of thank yous for um, Pen in the chat. And... Uh, Thank you so much for coming on the show, Penn. Uh, I yeah, really appreciate you. your time, and it was so fun drawing with you. Always, always a pleasure. Man, um, hanging with you, drawing. Yeah, dude. Um, because uh, I, I I haven't really talked to you since uh since Midnight Gospels, uh, or maybe since uh the rap party. But man, I like drawing with you, and you are a a. Uh, uh, an even faster animator than I imagined. <laughs> you you killed it, man. And and you won. I'll I'll play my little uh lost screen one more time. I uh I lost and I concede to to uh my my little pen. Uh, but let's get some thanks in the chat. Uh, it's filling up with thank yous. Thank you so much, dude. And um I'm uh I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you have a, a good rest of your your Sunday night. Cool. Thanks, y'all. Thanks. I'll see ya. I'll see you, dude. Thank you. Oh my god! Guys, that was so sick, and you guys really were an amazing audience. Thank you for sabotaging me, but then to help me, it makes me feel very conflicted um, because it's like, do they like me? Do they hate me? What What is it? <laughs> But uh, thank you guys so much for, for drawing along. Um, so next week, uh, I have my friend um, Ben Krause 
he's 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 our next uh, guest, and he's going to be on at 7 p.m. PST. He was a, a buddy of mine that um, storyboarded with me on Pickle and Peanut. He's a very funny uh, animator um, and board artist. And uh, let me see. I, I'm looking for some of his here. This is this is what his artwork art, artwork looks like. He does uh he does some crazy pictures. Um, here we go. Uh, lots of cool textures, weird stuff. Uh, but he's also one of the funniest guys I've ever met, and uh, it's gonna be amazing having him on. So it's Ben Ben Kraus. Um. Uh, next, uh, this upcoming Sunday, if you are new to the stream, uh, I am Lord Spew. Uh, I am a storyboard artist, uh, that has worked on stuff like Midnight Gospel, Regular Show, um, uh, the Teen Titans Go. More recently, I make, I make stuff, uh, that's been on Adult Swim. Uh, and, uh, I do, uh, if, on the days other than Sunday, I, I do just an animation stream where we make funny stuff. Uh, here's one of the here's, here's one of the last things that I uh, that I made. It's um, called Sock Song, and uh, we made it uh, from scratch live on the uh, live on the stream. Here, hold on. <laughs> it's uh it's not on the right screen. It makes me look like an idiot. Okay, here we go. This is uh, one of the last things we made on the stream. I stalk through the forest with stockings on my stalks. Socks up my scalp, no sound when I walk. Step soft in the underbrush to ambush a deer. It can't hear me near with a spear. I approach from the rear and then suddenly appear. With murder on my mind, his eyes fill with fear. Nature is beautiful, but roses step their thorns. Now there's blood on my socks, like a gourd by a horn. Blood on my socks, like a gourd by a horn. Blood on my socks, like a gourd by a horn. The shit really sucks, never done this before. And now I'm like, fuck, at least my feet are warm. Uh, so we had a redeemed uh, stretch. So I'm going to have you guys, uh, if you've been sitting for a little bit, stretch along with me right now. Hey, what up? This is Lord Spew here to remind you that once a day you should step away from your computers and do some stretching. Here we go. Tippy toe around the gate. Pick the apples put in crate. Pick them up and turn around. Oops, there's one more that I've found. Hold them high to cross the stream From behind the farmer screams Run away and dodge the gun Stolen apples weigh a ton All right, right here you can just do a little freestyle Wiggle, get your blood flowing That's great Now you can go back to work Thank you guys again uh, for uh reminded me to stretch i'm gonna play through our all of our drawings from today all of our animations and uh man what a cool match dude uh can i have the mods real quick um <laughs> can i have the mods real quick um let me know is is there anyone streaming right now that would be fun to raid we have a bunch of people i actually have to call in tonight a little bit early tonight because i got a deadline tomorrow but i want to uh i want to give all of these fine viewers to someone really uh really special someone who deserves it what if pen went live i gotta raid i gotta raid pen okay here we go I, I, I have an idea. So, so, um, <laughs> so, da, 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 he, na, na, na. I, so, so there is a, uh, streamer that, um, uh, is just starting out and, uh, she doesn't have that many people watching her. Her name is Holly Dart and she's a, uh, a cool illustrator. And I think uh, I think we're I, I think it would be fun to to to, to raid her because um, I feel like most of the streams that we're gonna raid probably have a bunch of people. Um, so let's do let's raid Holly Dart and surprise her. She I mean uh, I think that she's gonna be like what the hell. 
But uh, hell yeah, let's do it. Let, let's do it again. Thank you guys so much uh, for uh, for the amazing hype train, all of the bits and the subs. You guys are crazy, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. I'll be streaming on uh, 7 p.m. PST on Wednesday. Uh, oops. Let's. There we go. Um, <laughs> I uh, I pressed the wrong button and uh, and and didn't type the right thing. Um, but give Holly some love. Uh, let's let's go.